Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best drawn here. Remember that. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back. As you can see, people, we're back in studio. Yeah, man, now we have the famous Stan Cranky in the building. I mean, I'm going to tell you, that Cranky have some, 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 some stories to tell you tonight, you know, people. Yeah, man, big up on yourself. Welcome, big up yourself. You know the thing is that it's at 10 p.m., right? It's no, go on anyway. So start, start for this. Go on, go on, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Yeah, man, we start, man. We're live on Derek. So, people, big up on yourself um persons who are on big up yourself thanks for tuning in to another one of the uh review of the um nations league that just concluded recently concluded nations league trust me um it was it was a bittersweet but more so <coughs> sweet because even though we did not get that um, top prize. But the fact is that the boys played good football. Tactically, the coach was was was, was spot on. And um, the execution of the tactics was also good. It is something to, to talk about. So definitely, it is a good look. And we're just going to have some discussion about what transpired, don't it? Yeah, man, and you know, don't know me and Cranky. I, I, I cover the thing from from week. You see me, I say, from from Wednesday till the game Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then tonight <coughs> again. We are back. You understand? Um, detonation in the building. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Detonation. When you say when you not hear me clearly, Cranky, I mean, hear me clearly, though. Yes. Okay, I don't know why detonation say me not hear me. Um, I don't know. But yeah, so we are here just to have a discussion. Um, Mr. Mason Green would comment on the Deshaun Bernard um, <coughs> um, post. What's what that? What's that? He said, love, love it. Um, did, but, did Green because, say something? Because I see other people are jumping on that. So did he say yeah, something? man, Greenwood says something, man. But the, the, the problem is that, you know, big up yourself, Jason. The problem is that, you know, remember, I said, Dishon and, and, and Greenwood are teammates for United, you know. Ah, oh, that's right. That's true. Right. So, so before we get into <coughs> reading into things and, you know, let us put that on, uh, at the forefront of the, uh, at the, at the post. That these fellas are actually teammates from United. You understand, but it would be a good look. But again, <coughs> Green would still harbor in thoughts of playing for England, people. So let us temper our expectations when it come on, um, comes on to um, Mason because he might go flash one next wall rather than Jamaica wall. Yeah, and so what, what did he flash actually? No, in, in, in Mason, Mason's. Them, 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 them normally flush the wall and render it and them something. So that's why I use the analogy. Because he made okay. Mason. Yeah, oh, man. okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So big up to actually up, up lab in the building, everybody. So Cranky, give us a <coughs> rundown now. Why you want me for that ball? Because I don't know if that ball tonight. No, we want you to, hey, people, let me, 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 me steer the, the, the thing right now. First, <laughs> yes, I'm going to yes, make, yes. make him talk about the United States. Baller that he met today. No man, that's too early, man. That's too early. That's too early. We have to go back. We have to go back. We can't start. All right, all right, all right. You kick off the ball game then. So, so I start from before Sunday. I'm gonna go back and get the car, right? I'm mm -hmm. not gonna pick up the So people, you don't know, said boy, Minzy, I was killed me off on the highway. <laughs> I, I drive, I drive EV, and <laughs> Minzy met the, the wheel. Much of my car. Total rubber gun, all the tire gun. I'll be have a, a rim left on the car. And I know so we get put in a police car and things. So <clears throat> I don't know the story from before. If you watch it last show. If you watch it, go back and watch it. 
So we go, go get the kit, the rental car. I sat there. You know, when I talking about said, boy, oh, you know, when you signed up the rental agreement, you didn't put in for, um, what do you call it? Like tow truck. You didn't put in for service. Roadside assistance. Was roadside assistance. And, and I said, eh, I said, I go. So then, you know, sir, you know, you don't know, sir. The Jamaican and I used to like, come out sometime, right? Cause you're trying to manage it enough. Cause you know what? Uh, you want to be a court yourself in a good way. But then when I talk and talk, I say, my youth, call your manager, my youth. Cause you waste my time now. Hey, they attack us. Wait a minute. Then he said, um, so that, that's not their responsibility. He said, first of all, you almost kill me. So we can't either call me liar now and talk to you. Or you just give me care and leave. And we still have to finish bodies because I want to talk to your complaints department. Because I don't understand how. how I'm going to give me a car with the tire. A whole tire upon it. Tire not ready. Tread not work, nothing. So, him call him manager. <clears throat> him manager tell me the same story. Tell me. <clears throat> he said, my youth, <clears throat> now waste my time. I'm going to talk, talk thing. Me the car. Me the car today. So, I'm say, oh, we're going to give you a Civic. I said, I'm going to drive Civic. You know? Oh, hold on. This is this under. I don't drive Civic. Too small. <clears throat> <laughs> so, I said, how come me rent before? Make it a Genesis. 80, and then y'all give me a civic. You know, make no sense to me. He must say, Oh, that's the same level. He said, No, it's the same level, you know. <clears throat> so then he said, Give me a, a algebra. And at that point, we just never really, we never want to deal with them no more. Because I'm going to talk about me for PFA, roadside. Because people, we had the car towed, you know. When they do them to it, you just give them the thing when they do it. And the police, them to it. Yeah, them to it. So we never really care still. I feel them this is go figure it out. So I did, I did take the car from them, and I did call the complaints department. Because <laughs> you know, I was going to do it. And if they didn't give me three days free something, I said, I'm not done calling yet. Now. I'm busy now, but I'll call them tomorrow. Because I'm vexed, I'm still vexed. Because I eat that thing I'm going with. <clears throat> then can't put me, my life in danger and tell me. And then I come back on my sister, because they don't come help me now. And the police, them come help me, they don't come help me. So anyway, we have to, we have to feel that out with them because that never worked out well. So that was then. So Sunday, we have the game. And you guys see the post that we did. Um, I mean, they did a couple pre-game, post-game, which was very good. And I think everybody who was at the game was extremely proud of the team and the accomplishment. I will talk more about that because I support the show. So then today, means I went to the airport. He went to, where you went? Terminal C. I went to Terminal A. Because, you know, A before C, which makes kind of sense. Um, <laughs> so, so anyway, anyway. So I'm sitting, I, I, by the way, when I was going to my terminal, I saw the Jamaica contingent coming, going back to Jamaica, <clears throat> actually. And I stopped to have a conversation with them. My next man was there. Um, who was the manager again? Five good names in it. Um, Rye. Rye was there. No, no, it's not Rye, not Rye. Somebody else. He wasn't Rye. I forgot the name, but anyway. And the masseuse was there. I talked to him a little bit. Simon was there. Um, and I was talking to some of the, the person from JFF, and I think... I said to them that, look, <clears throat> let me try to squash this thing to the players because it don't look good, right? It don't look good. So I think they were receptive to that. So I'd be surprised if, if an effort is not made going forward to really reconcile and get to a good place. I don't think we need anybody. I think we want other players, right? As far as I'm concerned, we don't need. Because need suggests that you can't do without. And frankly, nobody's indispensable in my view, period. But we want players to come in. But we also want players to come in who have the right character and who want to be part of the program and part of the national team. We don't want people who are maverick and want to do their own thing, right? And I think both sides are to blame in some respects. And then as I went to my gate and I went to sit down, I looked to my left and I saw the right back for the US, Sergina Des, who was sitting there and we and I struck up a conversation with him. And I don't I don't want to be too in people's face and like I'm in a starstruck, but I did talk to him. He was, very, he was very accommodating in conversation. Um, I complimented them on the win. I indicated to him that they were very lucky because we should have beat them, which is a fact. And he indicated that they didn't play well, but they did against Panama. And he said that Jamaica are improving. And I, and I indicated to him that, look, we were missing quite a few players also, but yes, the team is progressing. And I did ask him, actually, if, they, if the US has an issue with, he's from Ireland, he's born in Ireland, live his life over all and play for the U.S. team, obviously. I did say to him, look, you guys have scored the earth for players. Balgan has come in. Hasn't done as well as we'd be expected. In fact, he didn't start the last game. 
right play. Well, they said, yeah, right scored the two goal, game goal against us. And I said, do you guys have a problem with – do the U.S. team have a problem? Have you heard of anything about you know, anyone having a problem with you bringing in overseas-born players in the team? And he said, no, frankly. We just want the best players, frankly. Um, that was his perspective about it. Because obviously he's, he's, he's born overseas. Um, and he's from Holland, actually. And he plays it. And I was saying to him, you know, where's he going to be next year? I don't think he was totally sure because he's on loan, as you know. In Holland, he's, he's from Barca. And he said he was flying back to Barca because there's a house there. Um, but it, it was a really good conversation with him, actually. And I took a picture with him, obviously. Um, and I thought it was um, interesting. And by the way, let me just say this because I, I would be I would not be right for me not to say this. I was sitting, you know, so we are poor people, right? So I don't know, I don't know business and first class things. I was sitting in economy premium. Okay, you know, it's not, for me, it's all about leg room because first class, I mean, nothing to me because we don't eat pamply and we don't drink pamply and so nothing to me, nothing to me. Um, and he was in business class, first class. It was only one class in the plane, so he called it business. There was no true first class. He was in that section, actually. So I don't know if it's the U.S. who paid for it, but I assume that he, they did because he's going back to where he's coming from. Even though he's going to Barca, I said he has two days off and then go back to Holland. But I would assume that they are paying for it. So just for information purposes. But obviously, we don't have U.S. resources for the Jamaica team. But I think it was interesting to know that. So, But nice kid. I, I did ask him um, <clears throat> to, 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 um, for an interview. And he said, it. Well, I said, he said, not really do interview. And I said, not like the interview, actually. Um, so I, I respected his perspective. And I didn't, I didn't continue the conversation. Can I even take up his time? He was busy on his phone. So. But it was good. It was good meeting him. Good kid. And friendly. And I did see him when I was leaving the plane in terms of a safe trip. So it was a good conversation. So so now we are back to um, talking football versus well, Mike's Well, on the cranky, let me, let me clear up this again. People, yes, we spoke about that earlier that um, Deshaun Bernard made a post of his bronze, bronze medal and Mesa Greenwood commented on it. Don't read too much into that, people, because remember that Mesa Greenwood and Deshaun have been teammates at Manchester United. So don't read too much into it because Greenwood still harbour thoughts of playing for England. So just to, just to plug that. Go ahead, Kirk. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think we, um, we're we like every fan, right? If you have a club team like Manu and Mbappé, click there like Manu, people get all excited and start run with it, especially the youngsters. Uh, no, we should just wait. If a player comes, the player comes. If the player doesn't come, we go about our business. Would we like the player to come? Yes. But as I said at the outset of this, nobody's a need, they're a want. And even though he would improve the team, he's got a decision to make. When he makes a decision, we all know. And I'll be patient on that. Not pushing it, not rushing it. One thing I'm sure of, though, is that given the number of players we have and given how we have performed, especially the U.S. game, because, you know, people don't know about Panama that much, but everyone sees we should have beaten the U.S. It's a fact. It's, you know, I don't think we played as well offensively as we'd like to, but we should have beaten the U.S. And I think that's going to encourage other people who are players who are at a certain level to consider Jamaica going forward. But I do think also that you guys, and I must say you guys, not everybody, who are xenophobic, some of you, or who have the all negative comments about the players, that you need to appreciate the fact that it is it does take effort to leave Europe to fly to this part of the world. And even when you're injured, if you can't make it, you get all this grief and these negative comments. You guys just got to be receptive to the players and, and encourage them, actually. And don't be negative when a player may say, I can't make a window or whatever, right? It is what it is, actually. Um, so I think that's important, actually. Or if a player come later, he's a reject or all sort of nonsense. Let's just click, click those things and, and not make them a big issue. But I also think no player, <clears throat> whether they're born local, obviously should be disrespecting the country. I think if they have issues internally, they should resolve them internally. That's my view. I don't, I don't hear, and I know every federation will have problems with players in some way, shape, or form, right? England have it with Ben White. That's obvious. But it seems to be managed internally. Um, and even though he's getting a lot of flack, I don't hear him come out and castigating Southgate or castigating Holland. People say it's issue issue with. I'm sure they're working out behind closed doors. 
So we should try to do something like that, actually, and not 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 just create because I'm sure sponsors are going to be concerned around the negativity around some of these things. So when Fabrizio Romano start posting stuff, you know you're in trouble. Yeah, Fabrizio of all these people who love him to death, and he's very influential. And anything he posts, he's going to be jumped upon by everyone else. So we should just we should just manage that. Watch. Um. See somebody make a comment in the comment section. Fitness with, with Jerome. I don't understand what he's saying. But Fabian Full. We not talk about a player who is not there. See? We are, we are concentrate on who is there. We not basically I said it, it before in another stream that I have a plethora of names that I could start to mention, Cranky. So do I, but I'm not mentioning any. Team. But me non do it again. The players then after you have their document before me start do it again. Now there's and some I potential start. hopefuls which are being discussed, and yeah. so I won't talk about them until they become reality. So yeah, but the phone line open, man. The phone line open. Um, you, you think the 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 the, the change in, in in formation? Basically, it's time for Gray, or they, were, they just did not have Gray involving in the game. I think the change in formation stifled the offense, but I think I think it improved the defense significantly. So, if you think about it, in 108, <clears throat> excuse me, take away the overtime because I think we were dead in overtime, Frank. Take away the overtime. We played 180 minutes of football outside the overtime, and we gave up one goal. And Blake made was forced into one good save in each game, frankly, where he's called upon to make <clears throat> what I call an excellent save. I haven't seen Blake play against Panama, US, and, and in fact, apart from maybe Costa Rica and Canada, and not being under with a first or second half under significant pressure, right? After put up these spectacular saves. I haven't seen us being that solid defensively, probably ever, frankly against two very good teams and against two teams who were bogey against. And we should have beaten both teams. <clears throat> I thought our game against Panama was comfortable. They didn't create anything apart from one shot in, what was it, the second half where Blake made a very good save. They didn't create anything, actually. And against the U.S., they got a couple of opportunities which they fluffed. But we also should have scored with Cephas. And in fact, if we scored that goal, the game would have been over. So what I have to think about is, which is, we played two of the top six teams in CONCACAF. And we were incredibly solid defensively. I think we were excellent defensively. And I think we see that, you know, the more players come in, the more the coach is going to have options, the more he's going to earn his money. Because Hector, Bernard, and Lati were excellent in the back three. Lembakisa, or as I said, Dexter, and, and Lee were also very good out wide. Now, we have talked about this at nauseam before. The middle of the park is a problem. The middle of the park is a problem. The middle of the park is a problem. And that is not going to change. You hear me calling for, to say, even if if Ravel is on the beach in his shorts, we should go get him because we need midfield who are comfortable with the ball, who can create space for themselves, who have time to make plays, who are not rushed when they're pressured, and we don't have that at all. That's not to knock low or knock palm or anyone else. It's a fact, and I think everyone knows it. And the forward line is going to be hurt. Bobby, Nicholson, well, Antonio comes in, Gray. Unless you're going to play the ball long to them, which is a 50-50 ball, you got to play the ball to the middle. <clears throat> and if, you, if your midfielders can go get the ball, play with the defense, then progress the ball, it's not going to get you in a good place. And that's what transpired. So I would think that... Um, that going forward, we gotta enhance the middle of the park. We have to have competition for place in the middle um, of the park. Go yeah, we have a call. We have a call online. Um ho hold on the caller. Um big up to Brinjian and that super chat. Top six, are you not doing anything for me? <laughs> I don't know if Brinjian are true or shades and cranky. I think what do you mean um, top six? What, what does that mean? Go back, go back. What what, what do you mean? <clears throat> we can't on, always decide what Brendan is saying, you know, it's not always clear. 
Fitness was saying that Panama had more possession and never took them. If it was another team. But US, when we played US, US had, had, had most of the possession and we nullified them. So so that, that couldn't be what you're really asking about um, fitness. The reason why Death said we're improving is because he saw it in the US game. He didn't play that game, by the way. Yeah. So and he, he had a first time view and he watched it. Yeah, exactly. And he realized yeah. that, you know what? You guys have good players, you're improving. So I'm not sure what people are saying. Um, yeah, they had most of the ball, but they weren't doing anything with it. They probably created two two clinical chances in that game in the 90 minutes. And they scored the last kick of the game. So yeah. And 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 what had happened is that Mexico allowed them to play football. We never allowed them to play no football. We make them know say you want another, another free thing. You understand? Carla, welcome to the show. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think Mexico is trying to match them as they always do. They have Mexico's ticket, right? Mm-hmm. And by the way, Destiny say this. He said, he said this. I said, you guys, this is your tournament. And he said, he said the celebration wasn't the same. Because they were so tired, was his view, I think, which is interesting. Yeah. Remember, remember they got extra time and on a few days in between. Yeah, so they were they were tired. <clears throat> he didn't look tired because uh, he didn't play the first game. Yeah. <laughs> but probably Mark a traveling member. We are Europe Mark come from. Yeah. Um Carla, welcome again. Sorry about that. Um coach, where do his management? Mr. Management made Hold on, Una, yeah, you hear him cranky? He said what we did with management. I heard him, yeah. Ask the question again, Carla. No, no, no. Go uh, ahead. I'm a man is man. You got. I don't think a ball game you watch. <laughs> no, I think a man is man. You watch not and not the ball game. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Hey, listen, I want good coverage of the game by Ian Cranky and um, the guy from Trinidad, uh, I don't, Andre. Uh, good coverage. Andre, Andre yeah, man. Um, overall, coach, the, 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 the games that we played, um, you know, Panama and um, United States. Coach, honestly, we should have beat United States. And it's just unfortunate that Colbert <coughs> made that um, crucial mistake. Whether it's a mistake or just the football gods, as they would say, it was they, they were not on our side, you know? And I hear people talking about man management and all this type of stuff, in which I didn't think the game was done to man management. I think we played the game um, perfectly fine. I, I listen. I watched the video with you and uh, Bibi Gardner, as well as, um, what's the next guy's name? Freddie Butler. Name is Freddie Butler. And, you know, you, you asked him about the game plan and, you know, the spoke and the game plan and how this is what they wanted to do, which they executed it well. And it's just unfortunate that that happened in the, the, the last second of the game, basically mm. the last kick of the ball in, in, in 90 minutes. However, going forward against Panama, I think we, I think we just did ourselves off, and we played against the Panamanians well. The only thing I would say against the reggae boys coach is that to, to make us as fans a bit more comfortable is just killing the game, getting that extra goal to put things to rest. Not that the not, not that the game will fully be at risk now because sometimes the spirit will go and they come in like nil nil some of the times in terms of how teams can come back, you know. But at least. It would be a bit more comfortable in terms of how you possess the ball and in terms of how you want to um, play the game for the remainder at the time that's left on the clock, you know. But overall, it was a good tournament by the reggae boys. And I think there are a lot of positives to take from this from this tournament moving forward into the World Cup qualifiers as well as Copa America. Um going into Copa America, I don't think there'll be a there'll be much change in terms of personnel. Um I don't know what's the situation with Leon Billy, what that will be. I mean, some of a party before Copa America. But in terms of um, players coming in, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's up to JFF and whoever is doing the recruiting to get him maybe better players. And in such a short period of time, who will those players be? And to get in better players, we're looking at players for the midfield because Casey Palmer, for me, I'm not going to go as far to say he's not the answer. I'm not going to diminish him to that extent or whatever the case is. You know what I, mean? I think he had but, a bad game. A bad, a yeah. two, uh, well, the first game wasn't so bad. But the second game, I think he had a, a, a bad um, game. And and that is the thing with we as fans. We don't want to really write off players because of having a bad game. Because, you know, it, it, all the players need to do is to get a little bit of consistency. We don't want to write away just throw them out the door because of a bad game. Yeah, because if you throw Casey Palmer, 
posting expression is going to come in that, into that position. So maybe you just need time. You know, so I'm not going to say, oh, it's not good, rare, rare, rare. Mm. Maybe it's just about two games. Um, but what this game showing up, coach, against Panama is that if we had Shamar Nicholson and Demar Gray against USA, I believe would have won that game. Not not say comfortably, you know, but I definitely think would have won that game. Because on the attacking um, front foot, Demar Gray against Panama, um, it wasn't his best game, you know, but what he did show is that in those moments when he got on the ball and he ran at the defenders, he put them on the back foot, he went down by the byline, put balls across the box, whatever the case is. Nicholson also wasn't his best game. But Nicholson kind of showed us in moments what he's capable of doing. He should have scored against Panama. I, 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 um, I don't know why it fit across the, the face of goal. Should I just try to talk it around the keeper? But Coach Hagen, if you're looking at this team, Coach, it's a lot of positives. If you look at this team right now in this tournament in the last two games, we see a lot of positives and a lot of a bit more cohesion in terms of how we play as a unit compared to in the Gold Cup last year summer. Would you agree to an extent? Say that again. I'm saying, if you look at the team in these past two games, wouldn't you say that there's a bit more cohesiveness and more positives compared to the, the, the Gold Cup tournament last year summer? You know, so I'm not going to make, make no comparison, but from what I saw, and Cranky can mm. support me on that, there's a lot of camaraderie in the team. They seem to be together. They seem to be gelling. And yes, it is the, the, in terms of playing better, things are slowly coming together. We're still not 100%. But of course, it's a work in progress. And 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 to any coach, right? Um, to kind of talk about Leon Bailey, I know that Cranky was you know visibly upset a couple of days ago, right? And I don't know if Cranky went as far as far ahead to banish Leon Bailey from the team. I don't know if he went that far. Maybe he can answer. However, I know I, I know I see a lot of persons saying you know he disrespected the country, or whatever. I share that opinion, but I think I'm not going to say we we have to. And listen, we, I don't think that we have to facilitate a way for Leon Bale to get back into this team because it's not a one-man thing, right, coach? However, we also have to add that he's one of our best players. No, he doesn't perform for the country, you know. I know he doesn't perform for the country. But his current form at Aston Villa, right, coach? We cannot just throw that out the window and say, um... Him just not good in general. Maybe this could have been a turning point if he played in these games to turn things around for the national team. So I think there has to be a pathway for Leon Bale to get back into this team at a later date in time, whether it's the Copa America or the World Cup qualifiers or somewhere down the line. You know the way they, whether the JFFC have to apologize. If he wants to apologize, then he apologizes, whether it's publicly or behind closed doors, right? But we we'll have to admit, by name, and how he's performing at Aston Villa, he's definitely a good player. That he, He's a Jamaican at that, right? So we have to try to find a way to get him back into the team and try to get the best out of him. I'm not saying Coach Agum so must specifically narrow down our zero in and Liam Bale to get the best out of him. He also has to get the best out of himself in terms of how he applies himself. Um, 50-50. Hmm? Fabian Full is hmm. challenging you, you know, say that Leon Bale is not. Or best best player, he's Aston no, Villa's I, best player, well, I, and not the best player for I, Jamaica. I said, well, if he was listening, I said that um he doesn't perform for the country, but by name and what he's doing at Villa, he's a Jamaican, so he's one of our best players in terms of what he's doing. But he mm. doesn't perform for the national team, so I I wouldn't want to banish him and say, oh, don't play back for the country, very very. Ray. Yes, sometimes you come like you play with ten and a half man, or you play with ten man while Leon Bailey on the pitch. Well, uh, maybe not ten man, no one goes so far still now. But there's a mi- he's missing at times, coach. When I look at them, I agree, um, you know, running at people, you know, taking the ball, being a driving force. The thing with Leon Bailey, coach, I think he's finding a bit of too much excuses for his poor performances at the national team, and he has to get out of that mindset in order to start contributing to the team. The more he finds excuses about bad pitch, he has players that showing him up in that regard. When he will get the good pitch, he's still not perform, but the next excuse will be, well, we don't train for a long period of time. But still, they might agree they're not training for a long period of time. So what's the next excuse? You get me? I say, maybe, maybe Jeff F. Neff start getting some seats with maybe more legroom. I don't know. You know? But Ian Bailey mm-hmm. is definitely a player that we have to try to get back into this team and, 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 and move forward. All right. I agree with you in some in some respect. Alright, bless you. Alright, big up yourself.
That's cranky, it. maybe not agree, but bless you. Yeah, man. Right, hey, I'm not cranky. Um, cranky. Um, what? Yeah? What on the cranky? I, you see, my, I don't know about your flight, but you see, my flight, it was a rocky road. Hey, coach. Rocky coach, road. Coach, <laughs> I think, I think, so, coach, you know, when you're on the plane, there are two sides to it. Right? Oh, coach, I forgot to talk about that. So, we talk about that, coach. Talk about that. We'll come back to what, the, um, you know what, we touch about what himself first. Look, yeah, I go think, ahead. I think, I think the product and the administration need to figure things out. I am not a supporter of this stuff, um, disrespecting authority, especially some instances when it's not warranted. And camouflaging your behavior with disrespecting authority. Having said, I think we just got to talk about the players and what they've done and not, we're not there. When you're not there, frankly, not that important. Seriously. So back to the flight coach. So coach, here's the thing, coach. So flight go up, go in. And you know something not like fly. We just don't like fly, coach. We don't like flying thing. What we say, you know what? You know, bite me down and just make the flight go. Flight go up with 50 minutes in the air. The pilot come on. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being at American Airlines. We appreciate your business. This should be a very smooth ride. We're going into JFK. It's going to be about three hours. As the man said, don't I say smooth ride. Means the plane drop. Hey, means the plane drop. Means it, no, regular dropping up. If you say, say plane lick something, you know, it that hit some birds or it's another plane, it that drop. I usually beside me grab a little kid and hold on for the kid, and the kid has this wide-eyed look. The father for the kid, who can sit up in another aisle, him look round. I mean, I said, so, so them look at them look at chop. I, I, I mean, use a word, it's not an idiot thing that's that. Uh, but another word me use. It was, like, it was more colorful. Mm. Like, let's come up and think I talk about say, everything all right. I may feel good and relaxed now. And even, and so I hold on for the thing, you know. Either I feel like going on the, the, the thing, the metal, or, or something. I mean, you know, so I must squeeze a hole on the metal, because I'm vexed. Then the man say afterwards, oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's going to be turbulent for the next 40 minutes to put on your seatbelt. But I did check. It was 120 minutes of turbulence. <laughs> Let me see. 120 minutes. No, no. Uh, 120 uh, minutes. It was 80 minutes of turbulence. 80 minutes of turbulence. And uh, it wasn't here. I, I'd see him take me get brother. <laughs> but guess what? My a pilot, pilot, tell me. So everybody, if you sit down, no serving and no food or nothing. <laughs> just sit down because it's going to be bumpy. <laughs> and it, it take a long, long, long while. They are telling you. It's a so while I've been playing like that, actually, to be honest. It's been a while. But, yeah. me see, me see Mike C says something. Say, and, and Mike C is, 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 is probably the new Blair boy, you know. <laughs> Mike yeah. C says, we now win not without Leon Bailey. And we, are we <laughs> winning the game yesterday without Leon Bailey, you know. We should beat the so US Mike C. Bailey. No, what are we huh? want with him? What are we want? Mike C, you know, we're going on this path, but you know, I got him. What have we won with the player? The player has won, scored one goal in what, every six games? Or five, well, five in 30, so one in six. Gray has one in two, by the way. Look, we shouldn't spend a lot of time on the player because he wasn't there. We should focus on who was there. That's my view. I've said my I, piece. I, I, I would have loved to see Kerry Anderson get in more minutes to a cranky. We I, spoke about that. Yeah. And if I, I believe that I mean, I think the coach probably is using more experienced or seasoned player. But I, 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 I like when the youngsters come in and, and they're hungry and they and, and sometimes too we have to be careful how we criticize because oftentimes the coaches make decisions based off what they see that is happening in the game at the time and the best player to put to suit that situation. Right. But I would definitely would have wanted to see a Kerry and this is some more in, in that scenario. However, it didn't transpire. Um, but he, he should he should be a good um fit going forward for the team. Your 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 thoughts? Well, I think he's the only true two way midfielder that we have in the team. Meaning, even though Casey plays sort of box to box defensively, Casey's okay. I don't think there's a steal there, and I think going forward with Casey, and I did see Casey play for Coventry against Wolves, and he looked really good. He was taken off late in the game. I thought he looked good, but for the two games here. He was a bit challenged, actually. He didn't give us what I was looking for. I thought when K-Rai came on, even though it was late and people probably were tired, he looked really good. So I do think he has a lot of ability. We got to give him more game time. And maybe he'll get more game time when we play lesser teams for now. Mm-hmm. Until, the coach, until the coach get confidence in him. That's a confidence thing. Dex has proven that, you know what, youngsters can produce. And by the way, Dex was very, very impressed by Dexter. Yeah, man. Dex is a top player, people. 
So it, it's it's even good to know that you have the opponents admiring players on the team, um, admiring their talent and saying that you know they are top players. It's good to know that the reggae boys that's and, the one and, and for them to single out a defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what he asked about. Well, because Pulisic was over there um, marching time <laughs> to get to the game. He, he, he wasn't his normal devastating self against us. We always struggled with Pulisic, but he had to switch wings actually in that game. Mm-hmm. And he had to, he had to, went, um, he went into the middle of the park because he, he wasn't getting any luck on, this, on the side, on the wings yeah. at all. Now, between Bobby Reed and Dexter, because I think Bobby Reed doesn't get the credit they deserve for his defensive capabilities and defensive work. It really worked out well for us on that side, I think. And Lowe Kurt, also plays more on the right than the left. Right. Mm-hmm. Kurt James, big up yourself, man. Um, who, who else we need to talk about? Shamar Nicholson. I mentioned it a little bit er, um, today, Cranky, when I was, was at the airport. Um, and, 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 and what we spoke about as well, the, the, the first touch of the players in the team. I think that is something that needs to be worked on because when you see the US players, their first touch is very impressive. Impeccable, if you ask me. But you and I were talking about that in the game, actually. A couple of things we talked about. One was mm-hmm. we were so impressed with the US first touch under pressure. Mm-hmm. You know, talk about country the ball when you have nobody, so you have other racks. You look at Wright, for example, when he received the ball in, how he protects the ball and not trip over himself or lose the ball, frankly. And then, but obviously they have more support with the midfielder, so they can control and lay it back and then turn. We don't necessarily have that as much because our midfielders are not, they're so busy defending when the offense starts, they're not in place to receive the ball and get back to the forwards. But yeah, we were very impressed with the U.S. control. And we talked about the fact that in our football, local football, coaches need to emphasize how you can bring the ball down and move the ball forward without struggling. The time you take controlling, Defense recovers. You don't have the advantage you have. You control the ball in a good place. Not just control the ball, but control it going forward. I control it going back to put yourself in a safe place with the ball so you can progress the ball or do what you, or manipulate the way you want to manipulate it. We don't do that really well, actually. We, we, we come a number of times, you and I, when we miscontrol the ball. Not Gray, for example, but some other players. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, somebody also said today that it might be a case where where the ball is not being passed directly to their to their feet. But I, I we saw yeah, where the US not, players uh, run into space and collect the ball with that's the excuses. Two. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't control the ball well. But it's I don't want to keep calling names, but trust me. Look at the players and some uh, a couple of the English based players controls wasn't at the point that they should be. All right. And Mike C, if you don't understand the 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 the, the, the genesis of the conversation you have to be careful at your comment. It is not the Federation who banished Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey got suspended, but apparently the coach went and called him back. He did not want to come because he said that he's taking a break. So it's not like anybody kick with Leon Bailey foot. All right? So don't, don't, don't misspeak in the in conversation. Um, I mean, our, our defensive section of things. Well, yeah, I mean, I tell of course, of course, of course, course. You know, you might say, do me, do, do me this. People, and do me this. Go to Fabrizio Bormano's site and read the comments that he made about the player. Then come back and talk to us. You tell me what overwhelming comments are about. Because these are comments from all over the world. A lot of them. Tons of them. Go to the site. Go read the comments. Sir, Mike C. Anybody call himself Sir. I question. Not sure where you get your serve from. But go read the comments, then come back and talk to us. I'm not going to entertain a conversation. Go ahead, coach. Float management, big up yourself. Um, I think the over the two legs, I'm um, cranky. I I definitely would give the team, if I were to grade them, probably a B plus, between a B and a B plus. I think you have to bifurcate the grade and then come to an overall grade. Mm-hmm. So let's say <laughs> defense A plus, offense. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's why we don't do that because probably, the offense. No, 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 probably, probably, oh. probably, probably D plus actually. Probably huh? D plus. You can come. Yeah, the B offense wasn't good. Wasn't. Because because I remember the goal was scorer from the defense, you know. Yeah, 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 
but from an offense player, even though it was unintentional. So, so I would say, but we only gave up one goal in two games against 20 better teams in CONCACAF, you know, or, or ranked ahead of us in CONCACAF, by the way. We gave up one goal. That's mm-hmm. amazing. Well, one goal in, in regular time, I should say. Regular time, goals. yeah. One goal in regular time. And that goal was an own goal. So the opposition did score against us in regular time, in two full games. And they ranked ahead of us. That says all about defense. Defense is A++. Offense is probably D plus, C minus. Um, and that can probably come to a B plus, given the overall outcome. Mm-hmm. And and I think we're really seeing Al Grimm's uh, niche coming out, being a, a one of those solid defensive coach and tend to set up his team to frustrate teams. All right? And that is, is is what is happening um in, in, in that regard. So definitely it is a good look. Toki said me mark hard. Um Toki, we're good with the offense. Because we never really do it offensively, you know. We never do it offensively. We get a couple chances, yeah. But we didn't keep the ball well. Look, I grade what I see. And offensively, I think defensively we're... I mean, okay, if I give the defense exceptional and the offense, I didn't give a pass mark. That's not grading hard. I give them a B plus overall because I'm grading on the curve too. Uh, I'm grading on the outcome, basically. I don't think that's harsh. I don't I don't think the, the offense did a lot, actually. We we scored two goals by two wingbacks. So our midfield and forwards didn't score anything. Um, one goal was scored like in the first minute of the game. The other was an individual, excellent, ridiculous effort. We did get a couple of chances with Cephas and with Nicholson and one with um, Palmer. But that was it. I mean, it wasn't as if we had build-up play. I think Minsey and I were talking about this in the first game. We only had one sequence of play where we had about eight, nine passes over together. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, and it was in extra time. Right, apart and, they, they were, and we were losing them. Apart mm-hmm. from that, when the, when the U.S. backed up, apart from that, we didn't put five passes together in in the, in the U.S. game. We may have done that in Panama game, but we didn't do that in the U.S. game. And in fact, if we if we could have kept the ball, we probably would have won the game because we had the ball in in, in <coughs> sorry extra time and couldn't keep it. So yeah. Yeah, um, coach, how the FIFA ranking are going to look? Um, this is the second person who asks about the FIFA ranking throughout this day. The fact of the matter is, we, I don't know the ramifications of the points that they give. What I know is that once you beat a team that is ahead of you, you make a, 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 a you get more points that will go towards your ranking. But that ranking can either put you a little bit ahead or you can remain the same. And we also have to take into consideration that we lost a game as well. Alright, so we have to just wait and see what um, f- um the FIFA rankings will, will come out to look like. It, it's a very tedious and a, a sort of situation that it, it's very difficult to, to decipher how they mark it. Big up, dear man, Elton, what are going, brother? AKA preacher. Long time we don't see any preacher. Everything good. Happy New Year to you, man. Even though we're there, uh, <laughs> a March. <laughs> Big up yourself, preacher. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I would give the team a B. Plus, um, when you combine two games, in order for us to reach that A mark, in, a, in, in order for us to exceed that A mark into A. Plus, there are some things that we have to work on. And I do believe, do believe that. Remember, Bibi did say it in a, 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 and, and Freddie in a, in, a, in a cranky. We have to wait and see. They are, they are slowly building. And not in every game, not in, not in every game we're going to get the team playing everything to, to T. It, it, it's incrementally, they are, they, are, they are improving step by step. 
every little walk and all of these things. You understand? So it's a good look. Look here where Preacher said, this team played in this system for the first time, Cranky. We still look creative in midfield, but overall, they look better as a unit. Need, a create, need to create more chances. Yes, but um, like the new look, B+. Plus. But I don't understand about the creative, creative in midfield, though, um, Preacher. Because I, really, I, I didn't really see that from them. Um, some passes were made, yes, but in terms of creativity, you, you see, like the number eight that was playing for Panama, and people were identifying him as the man that is stringing the passes. You didn't see that from Jamaica team. You see, in the US team, McKinney is the man that is stringing the passes. You didn't see that from a Jamaica team. Who was stringing the passes? You get what I'm saying? So I understand what you're saying. Let's say read over the statement. This team played in the system for the first time, Cranky. We still post, lock. Post, oh, post, 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 post. I lock him, sir. My bad. My bad. Okay, Preacher, my bad. I, I was wondering about that because Preacher knows football. So I was wondering when he says, because we didn't see any creativity in midfield. Yeah, man. They're far from it. I think the coach have alluded to Damon being good defensively, but has to work on when he gets the ball. Because I watched his press conference today, what he does with it, which, which is a fair comment, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. But we have to, we, look, look on that chip that he made. That was a very good chip, you know. It was a, it, when he hit the bar, when he hit the, um, the bar. The yeah. bar, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an inventive play and it was, it was a good chip. Yeah. But how, how do we improve this team further, though, Cranky? Is it a case of personals or is it a case of just working and working and working like Mama P in order to get get it where it want um to get? Cause if it is working, we don't get a lot of chance with the team. So how how are they gonna work with them? So it's a combination. I know you mentioned that Freddie says we're gonna move slowly. Bless up Freddie. Um, but we have to start running now because work up qualifies. <laughs> Along with, um, oh my God. so here's my view. There's a couple of things, which is the defense has to be so good, you need to think of it, but it affects the offense, right? When you're playing basically 3 5 2 or 4 4 2, it's going to affect the offense. And it has done that. And the question is, what do you want to sacrifice if you have the same personnel? If you're bringing a new personnel, you may have to think of it your system because you say people should adapt to your system, but the player's ability may want you to change your system. To have them adapt to your system, but you also, also adapt to them. So how would that work? I do think the defense is so good, you hate to change it, but you may have to do some tinkering. That's in the middle of the park. You're only going to have two midfielders, two true midfielders, if he plays five at the back, right? The way we play. Because he's going to use three up front. Even though people may say he has four midfielders with the two wingers, but I don't. to me, those are not true midfielders. So it's going to be interesting how that works. I do think defensively, we're really, really solid we're really good over the two games, and that needs to continue. I do think it's a combination of new personnel coming in, especially in the middle, maybe some other additional players out wide, and then also some tinkering with the system to get there. So, Because I don't think, look, he will, have a, he will have a month from the end of the year, end of the football calendar year, um, say EPA, for example, championship, where would people play, to then implement some things he wants to implement, before the Copa America and the World Cup qualifiers. You have a, at least a month. So we don't want to hear the excuse after that month that I'm still tinkering, because you can't tinker anymore. You have to go execute. Execute in what you're practicing and then go bring it over into the game. So I do think he'll have that time that he desires, because these windows are so short. You and I have been to training. You can only do so much in a couple of days. Um, even though that, that, that first goal they scored against the US was from the training session they had that I watched. Where that play was 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 put in play and it resulted in the goal. So training and having some strategy can can give you good outcomes. And I think the month will give the coach a lot of time. I, look, I don't think the coach is gonna change much enough. Look, I watched a coach, Coach Heisman, that beat England. It wasn't materially different. They're gonna play long ball. They're gonna utilize the physicality of the team with Nicholson or Antonio up top to flip the ball on to the wingers. I'm sure he would love to have more position in the middle of the park, but that may be difficult to do, <clears throat> just given 
who the competition is. Against the lesser teams, like when we played in the Gold Cup, people, and we played the Trinidad of the World and other Cup, we, we dominated possession. When you play the better teams, with it just they were maybe more technical than you, it's so much more difficult to do that. So we may have to play to our strengths against those. We may have to play a little more low block and play counter-attacking football. We're just trying to match them technically because I'm not sure we're there yet. If we bring in some players who are technically adept and have those skill set, then we may want to play more in that mode. But I think from what I see, it's a strategy to go long, flick the ball on, hope to run onto it. And if you look at the two goals we scored, one was from a throw-in where they throw the ball in the corner and try to get into the far post, right? Where Lee scored. The Dexter goal, even though Dexter was exceptional in that goal, was the player to me for Jamaica of the tournament, Hector, making that pass way upfield to Lambakese. Then he took the ball and did what he did to score. So it was two. One was a throwing, one was a long pass that scored. We did get a, a, a chance from um, Cephas, which came to the middle, which he didn't put away. And I think Nicholson one was sort of similar. So. Yeah. Um, Preacher said that improvement needed in the middle of the park. That is true. That's always our problem. Defensively, we um the personnel but we don't do well closing out games that is absolutely good i'm still susceptible to crosses yeah the susceptibility uh, susceptibility to crosses i think has diminished a little bit it has gone down a few notches but even though a goal was scored from that but i think it has gone down uh, because a lot of crosses came in uh, i think we dealt with it well um one of no, the reasons they, they, why they work on set pieces, you know, they work on set pieces a lot, both offensively and defense. They work on set pieces. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying improve because based off what we saw in training. Um, our next thing is that why it's difficult for us to, to close out game because we're still chasing <clears throat> down to the 90 minutes, 94, 95 minutes. We, we, we don't, you see, like in the last game where they put the ball over the corner flag, Bobby and, and, and Nicholson held the ball over there. You could see something was trying, um, trying. They tried something to ensure that they close out the game. But if we are, if we don't have possession of the ball, it's going to be difficult for us to close out that game. And that is one of the reasons why we're struggling to close out games. So that is something that these are little um, aspects of the game that we need to, 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 to work on. Um, I spoke to Kyle, Kyle Chin, and he also believes that um, offensively, we are not 100% and Cranky did grade them at a D+. Plus. Um, based off the statistics from, from his um, analysis, the statistics on, on the vesting that they, they had, um, we, we need to be a little bit more lethal up front, uh, try to get the shots off. We didn't get shot off in the first in the game against Panama until Demarai Gray touches the ball. And we took so long to ensure that he gets the ball. That is something that we have to look into. I don't think he received the pass in the first 11, 12 minutes of the game, you know. Mm -hmm. the ball twice in that period from Ricochets. He didn't get a ball played to him, to his feet, until like 11, 12 minutes into the game. Go back and watch that game. Mm -hmm. You're right. And we said it. <clears throat> to a to a reach for a cranky, you, you said, I know Green not touch the ball. And I said, yeah, man, he touch the ball from the throwing. <laughs> that's how <laughs> that's how that's how the man the touch the ball Bridget. We are, we are compared and I say yo I win in touch the ball is it true from a throw in or in play he not touch the ball for a long period of time when the game start but once he got the ball we look good going forward yeah great great plays really well great we have we have a lot of people people are comfortable on the ball you know great one of those extremely comfortable in traffic, it's important to realize when it comes on the ball, it has to, it's in traffic. It's not when I'm sitting by myself on the wing and I have time and space. It is, I'm surrounded. How do I get out of those difficult situations and create something? And he's very comfortable. All right, Preacher, the double sub is because Corey Burke got her injured. And, 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 and that, is, that, is, that is just the, 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 the plain truth. He, he got injured in that, in that scenario. He went for a tackle. <clears throat> um, he probably still wasn't a hundred percent before the game, because if you heard that he his sister was missing, and he said he had to be up all night and all of these things, trying to 
you know, to reassure his mother and all of these things. So he, he did not get um, any sleep. So, and when he was on the field, he tackled and, and it, like his groin was hurt, according to him. So that's why the, the, the coach um, subbed him. So I had a long conversation with Corey, actually. Not as long as the one I had with Bernard, um, but I think those guys are receptive to having conversations. Corey has gone through a very difficult and challenging time with injuries, actually, like bad injuries. Um, and I'm not sure he'll ever be fit until maybe a year from now, frankly, just given the number of injuries that and the severity of his injuries. So he may want to come back. He may come back. But he, I think even if he come back, he's still not going to be 100%. I don't see it. Um, so I think he's a person of a lot of desire, want to do well, want to play for his country and play for his club team. Plus one, 876. Yeah, but I think it'll be difficult for him because I think he's got some tough injuries. Really tough. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah, Carla, welcome to the show. Yeah, greeting. Yeah, man. You're alive. Yeah, man. I did, coach. I did, I know. Who this? Icarics. Icarics, so I'll go out with that now. Yeah, man. Blessings to you, Um, Yeah, man, I was listening. The formation works um, defensively. Well, as we're not really con um, conceding much from crosses. Um, we struggle to close. And we struggle um, to put passes together. Um, I think we need a ball handler. Um within the middle of the park. Uh, I heard Bobby Reed mention something a, a while ago about his best position is as a 10. But I'm thinking if we play Bobby as a 10 for Jamaica, eh, who plays the... Is that an 8? Because Lowe would play the 6. And he plays the 8. Is that so? Are you a top? I don't know where you are top, sir. Yeah. In the midfield, but, it would be but, but, low. But, but Bobby Reed don't play the eight or the six, you know. Bobby play the play on the wing, on the right wing. Yeah. But because of his work okay. rate and his work ethics, you might see him going at the center sometime. But mainly, he concentrate on the wing. All right. So, so don't you think he would, he could do a job as a ten? Of course, we think we even think Gray could do a a a a a, a, a number ten role. And Cranky discussed that too. Based on how skillful Gray is, he's able to get away from three, four, five, six, seven players. We believe that he can play can pass the ball. And he can pass the ball well. Yeah. So, I was looking at Karai. You know, I, I, I was thinking I could play Karai at an eight. But that 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 is what Karai um basically can play at eight. Yeah. I play Karai as a eight and Nana. Well Nana is not the solution really, you know, but he is doing well, better than yeah. So I'll play Nana as a six and Karai as a eight and maybe Grey or Bobby as a ten. But who you'd have put outside for for Bobby Reed? Oh yeah. Huh? Um, wow, Leon. Oh boy, remember, say Leon, Leon say, I'm gonna take a break, you know, so you can't have him in thoughts. Uh, Jamalo, Jamalo is not a winger. Jamalo, well, well, Jamalo can play across the, the, the front line still, but I think his main position would have been like a, a center forward, but I know he can play across the line. So we are here. I can just imagine the thought process by Coach Grimson and and Janwa. Uh, a lot of thinking. But so I might drop the coach, but I, I I was observing and um positive sign. Um looking forward to the work of qualifiers and the Copa America. Um with the best squad um available. You're yeah. asking what's the best squad available? 
No, I'm just saying I'm just looking forward to the competition with the best squad. Okay, available. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Grimo made a comment in the in the in the press conference that I that I looked into um, about Bailey Callum Major. Um, in the last half of it. After the striker that went to the U um twenty one for England. Mm. Made a comment. What what he said he was mind. carrying an injury? No. It just means just made mention of what um you can achieve when you play for um the nation. Um and just like he I won't quote him on it, but he yes he called out the player. And what was hilarious was that he said we won five thousand US and Jamaica can purchase their tickets to get back home. That was hilarious. <laughs> the guy came out to a shade. Yeah. <laughs> kind of five thousand still in our five hundred thousand we're winning now. Five hundred thousand, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You sure remember? Five hundred. You know what I mean? Four hundred. Um, Go pay up debt, so probably five thousand. Make... Yeah, yeah. There's no. Um, I'm saying twenty. I said five thousand, but yeah, man. <sighs> That's a. But yeah, pos- 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 positive signs going forward. Yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah, that's that's my thing. Yeah, man. Listen. Let's uh, start. So I think Phil B is asking a question, coach. <coughs> Phil B. Oh, go on, go on now practice look i think what we observe at practice yes they're very well organized um there was little or no doubt downtime during the practice everyone was playing their role the goalkeeper had their goalkeeper coach and working on certain things unless they were playing two sides um they go to the practice pretty quickly about what they're trying to accomplish so yeah i thought they were organized and i think the strategy they employed was what they, they have in practice right nothing is done by chance so if you see us playing five at the back and trying to stifle the US, that was practice. If you see us playing long ball to Nicholson or trying to get the ball up to grade, that was what was practice. And that's the strategy they employ, what is practice and that. So, yeah. I would say the coach knows what he wants to do. And by the way, I don't know. I always agree with the coach. So, not because the coach is organized and do things a certain way, I agree with him. Some things I think I would do differently with a selection and or some of the strategy, but I think what they did work, right? You can't knock success. So whatever strategy they employed for the two games worked to perfection, frankly. And as I said at the outset of this discussion, when you limit two teams who are deemed to be higher ranked than you and maybe better than you to one goal in regular time over 180 minutes, and then when you look at the chances created, because uh, we know we have an exceptional goalkeeper, he didn't have to do a ton of work. That even further emphasized and clearly demonstrate that the defense inside of the ball worked. And as we have talked about ad nauseum, offensively, uh, your defense is going to take away from your offense because you're going to have less true midfielders and five defend. In fact, we had six defenders on the field. <clears throat> it would low in the mix. We had six defenders on the field. So you're the goalkeeper and six defenders. You already have sort of seven defenders, even though everyone play defense. So you only have really four true attacking players, right? And that makes it difficult when you want to keep the ball and progress the ball. Uh, but I did think in some instances, especially against Panama, we did do a better job of keeping the ball because they don't pre- – the U.S. press, by the way, guys, is really organized. Like you said, Mexico couldn't keep the ball against the U.S., which I find amazing – Mm-hmm. Mexico is always very good keeping the ball. Mexico can keep the ball against the US. The US press is organized. They press like hyenas they, and foxes. They press as a group. They don't press individually. I think, which we think we do sometimes. We press with two or three. They press as a team. And they, you can get behind them because that's how you see CFAS running past when they play. They play up and they press up. Um, but when you press as a team and you suffocate the team, it's hard to get the ball out. So, what you need to do then? You have to play the ball at the top, so then force them to drop deeper to create more rooms between the lines. But I think the U.S. does a great job of it. And I think when he has a month to play, I think he'd want to press more. Because against Panama, we play further up the field against Panama, probably because of possession. 
I went against the U.S. The U.S. was forcing to push us back. So sometimes you may not want to do something, but the opponent forces you to. Panama didn't force us. So we played high against Panama. Against the U.S., we were playing much lower because of them dominating the ball the way they did. So fitness is saying um, compare the Gold Cup team to the Nations League team. Before, before you do that, Cranky, somebody did ask if there is any pattern of play or style of play that we would have seen from, from this team. Yeah, it, could yeah. tie in, it could tie in easily to that question as well. Play the ball long. <laughs> That's what I saw. Play the ball That's long. our style of play. Yeah, you, you, you win the ball and you try to play the ball and use our physicality and our presence up front to then pressure the defense, right? That's what we did. We, di we didn't really play the ball out wide. To, well, part of it is play the ball out wide to the wing backs, way up the field. So then they have a chance to progress the ball or play the ball up to Lickerson, flip the ball on and get at the defense, right? So that's what you see both Lee and Lambekis. Well, that's how Lambekis scores goal, way up the field. Almost like wingers, frankly. And then what you may have is Gray or Bobby Reed push inside and create that, over, that, that, that um, overlap on the outside for the two wing backs. But when a team is dominating you dominate, dominate defensively, it's hard to see the strategy because you don't have the ball to demonstrate your strategy. So we know what the defensive strategy was. Offensively, it was hard to see against the U.S., much more apparent against Panama. Mm. In every successful team, you need to fix the defense first before anything else. Therefore, just the next puzzle needs to be solved now. And the coach talk about that. When he just came and people beat him and beat him and beat him and beat him. Now he's my hero. Hmm? So, 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 you know, DS Electronics. I didn't say everybody didn't play defense. I said we had six defenders on the field. That's what they do for a living. They defend their defenders. Right? So low is a defense. I, I play center half. There are five players on defenders. They're not offensive players. Let Hector has offensive cape. In fact, but people, you know, Hector was exceptional in the in the two games actually. I think Hector, by the way, who hasn't played a lot of football because he just came off injury, and I think that was being discussed previously, did an exceptional job. I think we talked to Freddie. Freddie mentioned that actually when we talked to him. Did an exceptional job in the defense. Not that most of them didn't. Lati played well, Lambakisi played well. Bernard played very well, but I thought I thought Hector was a leader in the defense and marshaled the defense and really, really was very composed in his play and and, and had a, a hand in both goals actually. So Ura. Hector moved from the person who used to get the most what were we used? Beating, what we want to call it, um, or critique to a person who's getting getting lauded and getting his flowers, which he deserves, by the way. When I agree with this person. We used to beat my uh, cranky people. His greatest critics was cranky. And right now, cranky, I want to greatest supporter. I've been a supporter before this year, actually. I told you I watched him in 20, 2021, live and up close, and thought, he can play football. So my tune changed after the Gold Cup in 2021. So him now play no more, him now play no more, no, him now play for West Indies again in a straight reggae boy thing. Who? Um... Hector? Oh, you know, yeah. you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> remember, remember yeah. me saying for my cricket title? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I now pick him. <laughs> so look like Hector didn't know something but we don't know. So I'm a general. <laughs> yeah, Hector, the, Hector deserves his flowers, people. A lot of his flowers. I think Hector's always come across a very composed person, but I think he's gotten wiser with age, it looks like. So the question is, have we gotten better from the Gold Cup? That's a good question, you know. Because you would think the Gold Cup, we had the Antonis of the world. We had our babies of the world. Um, I think defensively, we are better than we were in the Gold Cup. Offense, and, and, and that's what I've been talking about, people, which is you got to give. You can't, if you're very defensive where we were, your offense is going to suffer. The question is how much will it suffer? And is this system sustainable to differentiate you? That's part of the question I've been asking since we were so exemplary defensively because you're going to sacrifice offense for defense when you play this way. The question is, can you get enough offense to allow you to win? That's the question. So is this team mm. better? It's very hard to discern if they're better. We were very good in the Gold Cup up until we ran into 
um, one of the better teams. But I think we are better defensively. But we're not as good offensively, frankly. That's because of the system and the players. Because think about it. <clears throat> Gray and Bailey are not the best defenders. Or when they have to play defense, they're not the best at it. Bobby Ridge is exceptional doing it. Right? Low, Jamal Lowe is not a very good defensive player. I think he tried against the U.S. And I don't know about Cephas, actually. And Antonio will come back sometimes. We know Antonio started about in the defense, and he puts a shift in. But I'm not sure he defends as well as he can, given his history and his legacy and where he grew up, where he started up playing. So I think we were more coming to defensively, and the shape was probably better, and we played better defensively in these two games. But I think offensively, we had more potency and more firepower. And frankly, Gray only played one game. You got to remember that. So he played all the Go Cup games along with Bailey uh, and Antonio. Um, but he only played one of the two games here. <laughs> um, Chris King said the Gold Cup. I, 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 I didn't think we had a team. We had good players. I think we're seeing somewhat of a team now. Well, it's, it's the yeah. same players. It's, a, it's, it's most of the same players. What you have is... They're playing um, together more. They, they're playing together more. They understand each other more. But it's, but we played more for, for defense against in the Gold Cup. Didn't we? Right? And Lati was playing out of position. Lati was playing midfield. He's not a midfielder. Lati is now comfortable in the defense, and he looked that way. Um, oh, by the way, um, Des did like Greg Lee also, by the way. He liked both wingbacks. Maybe because he's a wingback coach. I forgot. Who he that? He liked, he liked Dexter? De no, Sergino Dest. He did like mm -hmm. left back also. He talked about him too, so forgot about that. I think they were both But they played, they played well still, you know? Yeah, they were both in Brexit. Both Lee and um, both Greg Lee and Dexter played really well. What 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 what's up there upon upon um yeah our attack was clicking in the gold cup and then the defense was right there but then it's a turnaround now. What yeah, did Hutchinson said to on on the on? The shape has a lot to do. Huh? The shape has a lot to do. Remember loading loading played midfielder now. So mm -hmm. you had you had you had, you had the DJs of the world in the midfield right? You had different midfield. You had Lati there. Um, you had DJ. Who else did we have in the midfield? I'm trying to remember. Um, so we had more traditional. No, I don't think DJ played a lot a number of the games or started a number of the games. We had more traditional midfield there. We don't. We we went more defensive this time around. Um, Doctor Iro, what 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 what? What chance to say? Me no see. Me see. Me check him Instagram. I'm not see nothing. What is he saying? Hold on. See my see my way my city. All right, Lati Bodier play with more confidence because he might play him right for the position, which is yeah, which is which is uh defense. What I want is to for us to get a better destroyer in the middle that is a, a midfield destroyer, so low can concentrate on his position. Well, no, because we, 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 we take one play out of position, right? Huh? We try to play offense also. That's it. Where's the cranky? We need a, we need a myth at, at CDM who can play also offense and defense, not just defense. True, but we take a po play out of position and put a next one in our position. But we take the player who is a defensive player out, um, and put him. In. So essentially, what I'm saying, Lati Bodier was a, a defensive. Is a defensive type of player. He was thrown into the midfield. Games upon games, we don't see where it makes no sense. Him put back in our defense, but we still take a load of defense and put in our midfield. So here's what I, I look so at. So it's a recycling and go on. So here's what I find interesting in Lati and, and, and um, Low playing midfield. Um, they both follow the ball. Right? 
So when you're playing midfield, for example, yeah, positional awareness is an imperative. You gotta know where you're, especially if you're playing, if you're playing the eight or you're playing the six, you gotta know where you are in the field. And I found them following the ball a lot of times versus because something may do zonal marking, playing defense, and you may go man to man, you go box someone, whatever we go. But I found them following the ball sometimes. Like in the press, sometimes Low was the first person, and I pointed out to you pressing up top. That's normally your 10 or your, your 10 or your 9 be doing that, right? You want to make sure you organize the press in such a way where you suffocate the, def- the, the offense. He was the one up top, so then this gap behind where he came from, which can be exploited, right? So I found him following the ball sometimes, and a lot, I found Latte doing the same thing when he played midfield. First, have the position and awareness to know where you are in the midfield so you can balance it out defensively or offensively. I didn't necessarily see that from them. But because they're transitioning, which is going to take some time. Some time sorry. It's going to take some time for them to transition and really learn the role. And I'm wondering, you and I talk about this. Can low because coach mentioned this in his press conference, which is Lowe's use of the ball when he get it. And the question is, is that something you can truly learn playing midfield? Is that something at this point in his career? I think that's a difficult one. Look what Sean I say, um, cranky. Tell Sean, say, I see him thing may I discuss now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been Sean, I've been saying that for a while, Sean. Um, it's a catch 22 because Hector has, got, Hector has gotten so good in the back that you want to really change that. And well, coach and I mentioned talked about a couple of things because I was pushing even when we're doing the preliminary team selection, for Hector to be the six because with passing range, which is really, really good. I told you guys, I keep saying this. I watch Hector up close to his passing. It's really, really good, especially 20, 30, 40-yard passes on a dime to players in stride versus them struggling and the ball going out of bounds. So, yes, he can play this. The problem is he's doing so well in the center back position. Do you want to move him? But here's a larger question for people, actually, as we go forward. So we have seven defenders right now in contention for four or five places, right? So what do I mean? The five that you have, the six that you have now, because low is a defender playing midfield. If you get a true six and you bring back in Pinnock, no, it's more than that, actually. We have eight defenders, five or five or three positions. Depends on what you want to play, a four position. You have, um, you have Pinnock, you have Amari Bell, with the two that are out. You have six that played in the, in the last two games. You put low in with the five that we, five that we have. So you have eight players vying for a four or five position, which makes it really interesting. Because all of them are starters in their own right, right? Low has been a traditional starter. The, the five that we have, apart from Hector, have been starters. Well, Hector and Bernard are not true starters, but they're coming to their own for the last few games, the previous round and this round. And then you have Pinnock who has been a short starter. A Marbet has been a short starter. So it's going to be interesting, coach, going forward, how the coach make decisions about who play. And if you're yeah, Bernard or Hector true. and you have played so well, do you bench those two players? That's the question. Because they were exceptional, frankly. Both of them. And we know that Latte plays for the Coventry. He plays in the defense, right? Probably played more on the right side. At least the last time I saw him, he plays on the right back position. Um, and he showed in the in the games that he played that he his recovery is really really good, his anticipation is good, his awareness is good, more in the defense than it is to me when he plays in the middle of the park. So I don't think he's going to play midfield again. And as I've said numerous times, a, a um, a, my friend Ravel, wherever you are, start training. We need you. Trust me. I think you hey, have a lot of steam. Dear Selectronics, don't ask me nothing about Mourinho. Mourinho is not my favorite coach. I don't want to hear nothing about Mourinho. I don't remember nothing about Mourinho. Who is Mourinho? <laughs> <laughs> He's unemployed. Kyle Wallace, WhatsApp audio. Kyle, what's going on? Welcome to the oh. show. What's up, man? Big up, coach. Big up, cranky. Big That's up, viewers and subscribers. Hey, Kyle, before you start, you Kyle, before you start, Kyle, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You made a, you made a positive comment on something I said the other day, and I was, I'm still trying to recover from it. So go ahead. 
<laughs> thank you for the compliment. Anyway, um, you know, um, thank you, gentlemen, for putting on a nice package for the viewers and subscribers when you guys travel down there to Texas. I really appreciate it. And, you know, and, and we hope to see more of that. Um, I'm just calling to, to give my, you know, my two cents on, you know, on the games. You know, and, and it's more on the coach than anything else. I mean, I really believe that we have a world-class coach. And and the reason is um, I see a very flexible coach. You know, he's not egotistical. You know, to, to make a master stroke and move low from defense and put him in, you know, defensive midfield. You know, I mean, come on. I mean, that's a master stroke right there, you know. To, to to move on with, with a new formation, 343. You know what I mean? Which is flexible because when we defend, we no, defend. Hold on, enough. Kyle. Don't, don't uh -huh. put it only to 343, no. But no, I know. That's what I was getting because, to. Because, yeah, that 352 three, three, came out tight and everything. So the coach. R don't... R e right. Exactly. He He is flexible. He is flexible. The last two goals that we scored in was from the um was from the left back and the right back. Mm -hmm. When was the last time Jamaica has ever scored goals from a defensive position with such consistency? You know, yo, listen, man, yo, trust me, all this team need is to gel. It need more games. And then you're going to see the whole, you know, the whole magic start coming out. And, 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 and I would like to posit also that it fits our cultural style of play, whereas you have left back and right backs, you know, going down the wings and, you know, and, and, and using our um, assets, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I look at CFAS. Speedy. Yo, nobody on the USA team could touch that guy. That guy was trouble. All he needs is three more games. Three more games, and trust me, somebody came in trouble. I won't call on him, but yo, know, Cephas is trouble. But you know, I'm 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 really pleased. I'm looking forward to the next tournament, and I believe that after you know, with each game, we'll get stronger and stronger. Feel strength start coming up. Yeah, All right. that, that's I, it, Kyle. I appreciate the comments. I do think. The coach has shown some elements of innovation. If you talk to people in the in the in the in the team community there, they will say it is four. It's we all say it's sort of three five two, and maybe four four two different. They say it's it's four four two, it's three five two, mm. it's three four. There's a lot of different mm. formations and construct given how they're playing. So sometimes the two wing backs are not as high as we think they are. When defending, you can see they all come back, right? When they're attacking, the two right. go high actually. So yeah. yeah. But yeah, but you say that's the key, you know, cranky. Yeah. They're they are they are able to maintain a shape. Yeah. Well, whether it's going out to three five two, five three two, they always maintain that solid shape. You know what I'm saying? They they yeah. don't get disjointed. So you know, it's is is something to really look forward to. Now I'm 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 not too concerned about the um midfield, to be honest with you. And 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 people believe that we need a better midfielder than um Low. Listen to me, man. And Low almost scored a goal. Okay? And and that's his what that, that that's his third game in that position. Okay, and if if you watch the game again, you'll see that he took a shot in the six yard box also, you know, that was deflected. I mean, give him time and he'll work himself into that position. That's my belief. But I have confidence in Lowe owning that position. I don't want him to be to go nowhere. Give him, give him some more games and let's see what we have because this is too early to say, listen, put him back in defense. And it is too Watch early to say, two. and it is still too early to say that he's going to, um, I, I, I believe that, that position is mm. a is a is a short term fix rather than a long term fix, in 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 mm. my estimation. All right. Well, we will see. We will see. But trust me, watch him. <laughs> All yeah, right, gentlemen. I, 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 I have a good one. 
right. All right, cool. All right, Kyle, big up yourself. I do think, Coach, we need some midfielders mm-hmm. for guiding the game. Mm-hmm. Midfielders, midfielders about guiding. Huh? You look at all the other midfielders, you know, who you rate across the globe in whether the six, eight, or 10 position. Got, even the ones who play six have guard in the game. You need some guard in the game. You need things to get you out of trouble to progress the ball than just being able to defend. And I think, I don't know if one can learn that in a month's time. Give them a month window before they start Copa America and work up qualifiers. But we'll see. I think it's hard to do it in practice too. I'm not going to play it in practice game before Copa, but you need to replicate those things in games. And I saw him make some, even though I think Lowe played well defensively throughout the, the two games, I saw him turn over some easy ball. You and I were counting these things, Coach. Mm-hmm. Some easy passes, like easy passes just go and, straight. So. And sometimes he get the ball in some position, and me and Cranky are say at the same time that Lowe is going to turn over that ball based off how he, he position, based off how he, 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 he angle himself and all of that. We know that he's going to turn over the ball. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot for him to learn, you know. And he, he himself said it. It's not one of, a, a position that he likes. But it, if 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 he's going to be used there long term, I I don't know what what's what's the plans of the coach. But for me, I see it as a short term. But if the coach is gonna use it as a long term, it it's gonna take a lot out of Damian Low. I've never seen Damian Low beg to come off the field. The boss go down on him knees, him hold up in hand. Damian, remember, so when Damian Lowe they get a knock in one game, you know, and then take out Damian Lowe, we think a sub, you know. Damian Lowe get back on the pitch, you know. Yeah, because he's doing a lot of work, right? Mm-hmm. He's pressing up top, he's coming back. He's Can he the, now play the position, the right? Yeah. He's yeah. my he, overwork. Remember, so I that, I that Freddy say, you know, he is a ball winner, tackler, destroyer. But he must just know at the exuberance, you know. And you can know so Damian Lowe love to play ball for him country. You understand? But Damian plays but, so when he plays defense, you know, he's going after the ball, he's going after mm-hmm. the ball, right? So but you have to be patient when you play midfield. And that's why Hector looks so good playing defense, because he's organizing the team, he's positioning players, he's reading the game. He doesn't have the same identity ability. So when you don't, you have to read the game more and be have much more positional awareness. To be able to affect the game, and he does that really, really well. Look, I think, I think we don't want to sound negative people because I think I'm extremely pleased with every player who participated, um, no matter what they did. And I know some people are beating Burke for the goal, but frankly, people, if you watch that goal, he could do nothing. The ball chipped off the US player, you hit him, you go in the goal. It wasn't meant to be for us to win the game. That's what I look at it. I was telling this today, you guys are lucky as heck because that, that goal just came from nowhere. You're last thing at the game, you're out of it, you're dead on your feet, um, you're not in the game, and then you won the game. We uh, didn't win the game, but frankly, you won because you scored and tied, and we knew we'd go to extra time. And the only thing I thought the coach is this, <clears throat> and I think I said this on a previous stream, you always have to have a contingency plan. And we had none for extra. We committed so hard to regular time we end up on the field with like nine defenders or eight defenders. We had no forwards on the field. That means if we went to penalty shootout, you have a bunch of defenders trying to take penalties. So you have to, even though you want to put a defensive field on the field because you know you are close to the end, you got to think about what if it does, what if they score, what do I do? And frankly, we're not in a position to respond to them scoring. So hey, when I gave I t- up after that. One at a time, I say Hector get the ball in the middle of the park. And Hector is so intelligent. Hector dribble right through it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I made a pass, didn't he? Yo, Hector a real general, yeah, man. <laughs> the man, the man yeah, gave yeah. him those chance for him. But anyways, Cranky, it's a brain drain, yeah. Remember, you have a beating for your brain drain, you know. Villa is not a big six. Their own player said it. Cranky, you have two minutes to deal with brain drain. About a, 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 a charms thing. Oh, coach, I, 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 coach, you, you're how humble I am, coach. I forgot. Here's how humble I am, coach. <laughs> I didn't beat anybody. I'm not going to beat Bridget about champs because, frankly, Calabar is no longer competition. I would beat the JC men about champs because they tried, even though they weren't much competition either. 
But I refuse to beat Ben Drain because why am I beating somebody who doesn't matter? His mm -hmm. team doesn't matter. His school is struggling in a lot of different ways. I hope Colorado get better because we need competition, coach. We can't turn this into when we won 13 straight. We don't want to do that anymore. We want competition. We want chance to be competitive. Brain drain. I know you guys are going to, but brain drain, here's what you guys are doing wrong. You went to Ghana for distant runners. You got to go to Kenya or Ethiopia. You went to the wrong place. Ghana are soccer players. They're not, they're not known for track. Ethiopia, let me tell you, brain drain, what the countries are. Nigeria, not for sprinting. Tanzania was previously that haven't been that good. Ethiopia has been excellent. Kenya is always excellent. South Africa is now good in sprinting. So if you guys need um, guidance and lessons about how to recruit, please contact us. We will give you, any one of us, when the KC knows what is required and what country provides for athletes. You guys have done a brilliant job in the Caribbean. Maybe you should stick to the Caribbean. It's too far for you, okay? If you go too far, you need a lot of data and intellect and knowledge to recruit from uh, off your shores. You guys don't want to recruit at home, which is the Caribbean. Don't go with other places. Don't follow fashion. Don't follow fashion in Africa. <laughs> and get people who can't, who can't run in their first place. Who don't register them timely. Who don't do something wrong. Pre Adrian. Who don't confuse. Please um, watch the masters at work. Brain drain. Look what we do and how we do it. And try to emulate us. Don't copy. When we are going to run. You know what you know, people coach? And you put on the wrong answer. The man just copy and run with it. <laughs> Hey, it is interesting, you know, people. Cranky is the one that is always saying that. I'm confused. No, brain drain. You're brain confused. Brain drain is confused. <laughs> hey, brain drain. How much points did I get, brain drain? It was embarrassing, you know. At one point, I was telling Ninty, they should only read out the top two scores, right? Because means we're talking about top three. I'm like, no. The third place school is not is not no longer in the window. We couldn't even see them. You're not here running around, you look around and say, Where, where, where? I would say, JC, I come. I'm going look around. Oh, we see, man. We can't to see, man. Cranky. Yes. Look where I'm putting up on the screen. <laughs> look where <laughs> <look laughs> <on> in comment. <laughs> yeah, they're like you. You guys would like. To. Oh, them can't beat you, but you can't beat me. That's, the, that's what we do. You can't beat you, you can't beat me. But what are cranky? What are you? St. Diego, go hold them in a, in a school challenge because I give them a next beat, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's going to happen too. I think that's, that's going to happen. Well, brain drain. <laughs> no, no, go off here this year, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Today, a Shakiri birthday in the brain drain. What go on? Oh, we don't see a post nothing for Shakiri. Eh? Today, Shakiri's birthday, you know. What is the need back in name, Shatta? Franny and Chien just shot at the brain drain, we have to listen. No, no. <laughs> He's not shocking out at all. <laughs> oh my God. Not good, not good. <laughs> but also, he switched to oblique civil. <laughs> I mean, this team now, <clears throat> reggae boys again. Copa America. We, in our group that I believe we can top you know. Me no fear Mexico. Me no fear Mexico. A matter of fact, we don't fear no side again. We respect them, but we don't fear them. Baseball, all we are playing, no fear no side. Right now, cranky me tell you, you know. Something that I know, I know we bogey team again. Panama is no longer with bogey team. Tell you before you get done, I say, say you know, not talk too quick. Not gonna say that. Not gonna say that. We don't. We have man, 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 enough to say them longer bogey team. Hey, a tree, me they want to give them back. I that they never know. <laughs> they, they, I, I, they, they can't I move bogey team again. I thought they better against Mexico than we were. Actually, I thought they better against Mexico than they yeah, were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me tell you, you not know, cranky. Remember, I told you, a team that plays open football, it is always easy for them to look good against that team. You see, because we were a little uh, more organized than Mexico, they weren't able to explore and yeah. exploit and, and, and express themselves. I don't the think difference. I've seen the U.S. play a team at home in this region and has been so frustrated. Think about it. They, they totally destroyed Mexico, you know. They had so much position against Mexico. And Mexico had it, they couldn't keep it. And Mexico is a ball possession team. Mexico has regressed, by the way, coach. Mexico has regressed. I don't know where Mexico is going, but they have regressed. 
Uh, we hope they're going to be better at Copa, Rob Smith, because they're not being good. And they had a, quite a bit of their players. Alvarez and Lozano, they were there. there. Goalkeeper was there. They're they, they regular players. So they don't have much of an excuse as to why they were so poor. Hey, see, um, CJ, Cranky, Cranky spoke to Sergio you know, this. And they said they don't have a problem with who turns up to play for them. They scour the earth looking for players to play for the US. Me and Cranky, we did enumerate the players them in the team and which club them play for and which part them play football. And a peer top club the man them play for. Yep. Peer top club. Peer While top. we have players, we, we, we have a few Premier League players, but we have um, most of the players them in a championship and all of these things. But US have peer top league players. Most you, of them. You, you go to the entire US team. Look, their right back once played for Barcelona. He's now played in Holland. Robertson has been brilliant for Fulham. Ream plays in the Premier League. McKenna plays in um, play for Juventus. Adams, mm -hmm. uh, Bournemouth, he's been injured for a long while. Musa played at Milan. Pulisic plays at Milan. Reyna hasn't played much ball. He left Dortmund on loan to go to Nottingham Forest. You know what? I should do some US team analysis now. Hey, more I put my channel number. But that's not another story. Um, Weah plays in France. I mean, Balogun hasn't shocked out as they expected. So Wright comes in for him. They have a lot of quality. Pulisic, AC. You said that already? Milan, yeah, yeah, he plays in Milan. Yeah, no, they have a lot of quality. And Richards play what for 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 um Crystal Palace, I think. They have a lot of quality in their team. A lot of quality. And um we we have a we have quality in our team, we have about five, six Premier League players, about five. But if you look top to bottom, they have replacement for every position. Because Wright came in for Balogun and didn't miss a beat. And Balogun mm -hmm. plays for Monaco, but so they have quality in almost, they almost have two players for every position, which we, at the moment, I don't think we have life for life replacement for every position that we have. Defensively, I think we are okay because we lost Pinock this window on Mari Bell. We didn't miss a beat, frankly, even though we changed the formation. So now it's and, good. Yeah, man, the, U, the US, the US. Yeah, um, What's his name? Sean make a very important point, you know. Sean pointed that US uh, Mexico playing outside of CONCACAF is a different team for true, you know. So we have to be careful of them in, in the nation in the Copa America. They play well, I mean look, they play well in the World Cup, except they don't they don't pass the second round a lot of times. Um they do play well against one of the better teams, but they haven't been doing well of late, which is interesting. So even they play some of the best teams in the world, they hold their own. The U.S. has their number, by the way. The U.S. don't fear Mexico anymore. They just beat Mexico every single time they play them nowadays. Mm -hmm. but they beat them about three love the last time, mm -hmm. right? And now they, yeah, they, they beat Mexico every time they play them. And by the way, you and I realize the city, the stadium is all Mexico until the U.S. scores. And I, I heard U.S. fans. I'm like, where were you guys sitting? Mm -hmm. US fans. Well, all we see was green, green and red everywhere. Green and red. Yeah, hair. man. The, the Mexi and you, but you know, you look at it though, cranky. The Mexicans <clears throat> are the biggest supporters, though. Yes. Uh, well, the 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 North American, which was Mexico, and Latin American team. So Honduras against what Costa Rica filled the stands. It's interesting though. Costa Rica don't have a ton of fans that travel with them. Honduras have a ton of fans. Guatemala a ton of fans. Mexico a ton of fans. Like like fans galore. You look at Honduras against Costa Rica. When we played Guatemala, it was all Guatemala in the stadium, which was almost sold out. And then yesterday, you went in an 80,000-seat AT&T Dallas Cowboys Stadium, and it was almost sold out, and it was mainly Mex Mexican fans. Mm -hmm. You were of fans, but Mexicans were everywhere. Mexico outnumbered them, man. By a good distance. By a good distance. You used to have fans behind the goal to the left on one side. I think they have a must be the US Army, you know, you know, people have their whatever army they call themselves. But apart from that, they have fans that splintered throughout the crowd, but Mexico fans were everywhere in the rafters, in the bleachers, in whatever you want to call the section, down below, everywhere. It's a family outing. 
and and they they reached there before if they reached here to watch the first game you know, because they were rooting for Jamaica you know yeah Jamaica is always everybody's second team right? oh. yeah man them did a mix and after the first game cranky them must say yo want to no beat the US Mexicans them yeah. come early for support we them come early again for support we against um um Panama do they want us to beat the US because they think they can't beat we because they know they can't beat the US anymore. yeah <laughs> That's why them they don't want we play away, but would have a ruder waiting for them. Yeah. Yeah, no. By the way, as as Minzy mentioned before, if you go to like Walmart, you see a ton of Mexican jerseys in there. Because there's a huge population living in the area, so yeah, a lot, a lot of Mexicans. Yeah, man. And, and they, they, were know very, they, they were very disappointed, actually. Yeah. If they were cheering for any good play they made, I'm telling you. Like stuff who were desperate they were yeah they were desperate they were cheering for anything that was deemed a good play they were bo- boisterous on the penalty that wasn't but bar overturned so yeah they they were desperate to win but the team they, they got they got to revisit their team they got to change out some of the players on the team they don't have the vea anymore vela anymore some of those players are not playing i didn't see him in his playing actually someone said him in his play i didn't see him in his play but then they, they um, need, yeah, they need some change. Cranky, how you compare Schaefer versus Algemson? Is is it that a fair comparison? Somebody asked that question. I don't think Schaefer have any result to be proud about. So I don't know how you compare them. What does Schaefer do that we are happy about? Algemson is, is Gold Hulk Cup is, final. <clears throat> well, that's true actually. I sh- I take that back. I don't I don't know if there's a comparison per se. We were defensive actually. So we got to the Gold Cup final. We were hard to break down. So maybe there's some similarity there. Um, but I think Hargrimson has more to work with, actually. So it's not a fair comparison. I think Hargrimson has more to work with, frankly. And I continue to get more. I think he has more to work with. Do Clan say him play with Mexicans. You know, what kind of play and play with them? You know? But him say football is a family event for them. Yeah, man. When we see people are roll out from Mexico, baby. Toddler, right age group, and a whole family are roll out. And they have everything. They have, have Mexico mask, hat, every single thing they have for Mexico. He's right, because in New York, I used to play against, I used to play for a Jamaican team against, no, yeah, Jamaican team against the Mexican league. Um, I could call that Spanish league, that Mexican league. But yeah, it's a family thing for not only Mexico, but Latin Americans in general. The mm-hmm. girlfriend and the wives are there with the kids to watch the game. Because when we go watch a Guatemala game, it's the same type of feeling you get. Yeah. There's always the a whole family fight. rollout. There's always, we're, we're always fighting with them anyway, physically, because they don't take losing too well. <laughs> you see, they, when they're under the waters, so, hey, them can't drink I, 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 beer they, no they, more. They drink a ton. Like, they were just... I'm, I'm sure Kung Kung loved them because... They're making money from concessions. It's not just ticket prices, which were, by the way, price and ticket prices. They were also buying mer- um, concessions were going up, you know, overpriced cheap food is what I call it. Or overpriced processed food is what I call it. And they were selling it. And beer, the beer was flowing. Even with the Americans too, who we engaged with, Minzy, they were buying quite a bit of beer. Um, Zinat is saying that Mexico was taken from the Mexicans, so a lot of Mexicans there. Yeah, that's history, but yes, that's true. They, they have a lot of it. But you know what? It doesn't matter where they play. People don't realize this. It doesn't matter where Guatemala play or Honduras play or Mexico plays. Wherever they play, the fans are there. No, if, if they play in New Hampshire, if they play in LA, if they play in Texas, if they play in DC, if they play in New York, it doesn't matter. No matter where they get the money from, they're going to find... And they're organized. They're going to come to the games in droves. There'll be a lot of buses coming to the games with fans. No, they, they get they get to the game. We, on the other hand, have a lot of people in the, in the U.S. We're not like that, actually. We don't have the dedicated fans like AQ and his people, who are quite a bit of people. AQ and his team. AQ, Aaron, a bunch of those guys. Um, and T guys involved in that group also who go to games as a group. <clears throat> Wish we more have more of that activity to support the team. 
but maybe the team need, need bodyguards or may not be go, go by the team anymore. You know, they're going to have bodyguards and and support system and protection. Cur Cur cranky, cranky roll up on, on this today and on this, 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 this was just sitting there. Cranky was roll up and put up your phone up in a man's face. No, I don't do that actually because I don't like to intrude on people's space. He was sitting not too far from me. I said, hello. I said, good win. I said, you were lucky with us. And then we had a conversation after that. No, I don't, I don't do that. Actually. I don't like to roll up on people that way. He was receptive to the, to the conversation. And plus, you know what, people, when you can talk football and know where his history is, people understand. People will talk to you if you can really talk football like you know what you're talking about. Now, talk to him about Robinson, for example, and Fulham. He didn't know that Fulham beat us, uh, Minzy. He didn't, he's like, when did Fulham beat you? I'm like, yeah, they beat us. And they beat us really well, too. And Robinson played well, and he played well against Tottenham. He destroyed Tottenham playing that wide. So, yeah, no, if you can talk football and make sense, then, yeah, we can have the conversation. Because he wasn't doing anything. I didn't, I didn't intrude upon a conversation, so. Brando said he met us before the start of the, f the, the first game. Yes, he did, actually. I remember him. Yeah, he did. Who was that? Brando. I don't remember when we met him, but he did hate us, actually. And he said it was Brando. You said, so. Oh, he, yes, like, yes, you yes. Pretend yes. Like you pretend acknowledge him and then you talk about you don't know the man. Hey, Brando. Yes, you brought him a treat you, Brando. If it uh, no man, me just I remember man, me just I remember. Yeah, he hailed us. Big up Brando. And then we made. Um, who was on his day? Was that CJ? Huh? Was CJ CJ the lady? Yeah, CJ is the lady. Why well, I may mean, I tell you, people? <laughs> CJ come like an AQ, you know. It's basically AQ at the Canada game, but CJ was like that. CJ was very vocal, yeah vocal, very. It makes Canada look bad. CJ, like what's wrong with her? <laughs> CJ, <laughs> CJ, Carlo, players. Nickerson, what up the ball? What up the ball? What you do, Nickerson? I'm going to Nickerson. And she now means words, you know. <laughs> <laughs> CJ was. You know, when the goal score, me, I tell the people, I'm such a run down in the, in the aisle. A good thing she never dive over. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they were the crew. But we look, we look, we look for great things for this team. Um, going forward in June again. Copa, World Cup qualifiers are coming up again. We we are expecting some good performance from this team. And I said to Cranky, Al Grimson is a tournament person. He know about tournament. Look at that time forty. So we are gonna see a better. Better playing team when it comes down to Algrimson. He needs to know about qualification because we don't care about no tournament. Hmm? And, and it's a World Cup tournament. Me, me so no tournament. Remember, remember, so if you qualify, you have to go through a tournament set up like, you know. I look more like a league set up to me playing so many games and so many rounds. But yeah, it's mm. a tournament. It's a tournament. It's not the Champions League contra. There's a lot of games to be played. We sh if we have the full contingent, we should be able to get through the first round without a lot of problems. Actually, I think we're gonna be a tough out. We, if we have everyone, and I'm concerned about injuries, but we're gonna be a tough out. It's gonna be tough to pick the team if all the noise I hear about who's gonna be doing what. So we'll see how that materializes. If we have the full set 23, frankly, we should have a full set 27. Maybe 23 from the 27. We can have 60 players. You need about 27 to 30 players who are, you know what, interchangeable to be in the team. The surprise is coming. Um, with Mason Greenwood, people, Mr. People are getting a frenzy and a frantic because Mason dropped a comment on Deshaun Bernard um post. Remember, I said Deshaun, may I say it again, may I repeat myself. Deshaun and Mason are teammates from United. That could very well be an indication, yes. But don't, don't read too much into it until in the summer. No you know what? what? You know what? If I'd known that, I would have asked Deshaun that question. No, if that tell me or not. But I did have a long conversation with Deshaun, who's very pleasant, by the way. Very good conversation. Mm. And very amicable. Um and um easy to talk to, frankly. So we had a good conversation. Yeah, no, I mean he's he's um he's done well actually. I think he's one of his better windows, frankly. He's done well. Mm -hmm. and, ho and hopefully continues, actually. He's done well.
Yeah, but it was a good conversation with him. The players, the players, frankly, are easy to engage with. The ones who wait after they met up with so. Oh, a float management and a uh, 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 and I write man for CJ link up with for of CJ. If you have an Instagram, drop it in the comments. I forgot to say float management are part of the um the international group. People that group, they're a big group, you know. So hey. What international group? With 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 AQ them man. Remember float management uh, and AQ them man. Yeah, float management is AQ. I didn't know that CJ was part of that group. CJ no, man. it's C we want to make CJ be a part uh, of it. So okay. so because I remember she she, she said she got a whole lot of games, you know. She did say that, yes. Yeah. Mm. So so CJ, link up float management. Drop your Instagram so them can link up and, and make you be a part of the group. Yeah. Devon said that the Greenwood is not the big surprise. It's the next surprise for Auden. There are a lot of supposed surprises. We'll see. I'm, I'm not into surprises. I'm into actually. May I wait till me sit yeah. and them are player. No. Yep. I mean, I think why you somebody can't come. Come and see. Hodges to come. Me a Katamaria come. A Katamarty. A Katamateri, whatever his name is. And a rich. So, me want to see them on the field and then we can talk. No, I want to see them in camp. It's on the field. And it's in no, camp. man. Camp on a note, no man. I want to see them play. Hey, a cap in that, you know. <laughs> no, I want to see them play. You cap them. If they're in camp, they will get cap. Uh, coach more smart than that. If I have two minutes, you see, England nowadays are bringing your boy, man, you know, from because Ghana called him. I say, great, you know, see, my boy nowadays now we have to cap people, my cap everybody. Oh, so, so get a cap everybody. So, it's fence, everybody. so get so fence. We have a fence this, <laughs> it's a fence, it's a wall. So, the that a fence, it's a wall. I don't get man can't jump, get in a man, I build up one big guy wall. And lock down your player them. Long while they're not bringing everybody to come lock them in. Nah, yeah. Even though you can't keep people friendly, but if I give them a taste, so they can say, you know what, we have a chance to make it. So CJ, how we have a contact you? Your Facebook? You have Facebook, CJ? If you have Facebook, just send me a message and uh, your number with us uh, link up with float management. Yes, as Ghani and tell the call the youth so it get running. Yeah man, I saw him steer man. <laughs> yeah, Edwards was talking steer. about his passport a while back, right? I don't know what happened to Edwards because Edwards was the next big thing playing forward and then he got a bad injury. I'm not sure he's fully recovered from it, frankly. But I know he said he was getting his passport from last year, actually. So I don't know what happened. Oh, Lord. That's got it. I look I know, like I messages, you know. Yeah, I saw that. I saw Then, then me, so oh, oh, we have a contact here. Okay, and drop your, your number in the comment section, you know, there, I'm on All right. See, see my number up on the screen, um, CJ. See it around there? 876-360-6624. That's the call-in number. Just, just drop a message in that, uh, to that number there. Yeah, CJ, pass is a big pass. And growing. Big growing passage. They won't need a hotel for themselves next time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they can't be no more. Enough of that. Who that? Um, AQ, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem is that yeah, tell AQ, a man locked down in a whole avenue, you know? Yeah, enough of them. Enough of them. Enough of them, enough of them man. But it's a good look still. We enough just five still, enough vibes. Enough vibes. Yeah, man. We just want that, that group that <laughs> grow and grow and grow. So it shows that Jamaican actually can live well together. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, the unity was there, man. The man ain't cook food, whole heap of chicken. They might watch champs you know, at the same time. Yeah, champs yeah. I watch. Ball game I talk about. 
we are do the stream. Yo, everything are going on me. I tell you, one place. Even though a few of them were watching champs, but not watching champs because I think they realized early what was going to happen. That, so I don't think they you, were. You're cranky, man. No. I don't think you're they were cranky. as much. It was very obvious that some were engaging it, but others were like, oh, here we go again. So that and, and as I roll up in a place in the people, the first thing man them ask me, which team I support? Oh, Which yes. Which EPL yes, team. Yes, yes. They uh, uh, the say team. foolishness that. Yeah, we're the Liverpool fans. <laughs> we'll probably fool people in our building. Yeah. <laughs> One bag of talking in a man. The vibe's nice, man. The vibe's nice. Yeah, a lot, of, lot of vibes with that group. If 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 the, this if this Jamaican fan group ever starts swell, you see, man, I worries. I think it can. I, I think it can. Because if everybody in that group reach out to somebody they know who may be interested, I think you can do it by extension, actually, and come with a really good group. Mm. So CJ, see, I heard Posse. Um, so, Coach, I left. a fool. I must time for having better than that. It was a long, long. It was a really good trip, frankly, except for the plane ride come back. Why not tell us that? I must still. Yeah. Hey, and a flat bro. tire. <clears throat> the flat, you know, yeah. Forget... <laughs> well, you know, coach, I, I get, I get. You know, coach, you know when you have um people who have been to jail and mm. they come on and give speech to youngsters who are getting themselves in trouble. Yeah, that's what I felt about that. Um, we have flat tire. They put it in the back of the jeep and said, "Boy, I'm not come back here now." You know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like how you feel when that tall boy, the seat was just <laughs> you in, the seat hard. I mean, I said, I said, I said, rotted. I mean, I think that jail is the seat. I mean, I feel so. No, that man go that tall. So, be careful with the jail thing. Be careful with the jail thing. No, son, and a nice feeling. If they so feel so, imagine what you get thrown at the place. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's a tall. Can't do the jail thing. And that cop wasn't, the, 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 the cop who had her complexion, he wasn't a very he was very nice, was he? He was like impatient. He just wanted yeah, the impatient one. Like yeah, the intolerance the level. Persuasion. Yeah, his tolerance level wasn't there. Um every time I come by the camera, I look at him. I said, Man, I said, Man, just move from the camera. I said, Man, I but, but but you know, on a on a on a on a second thought though, cranky, I think he was more of a solution based still enough. He was solution. No, no. Yeah, because I'm try. No, no. He was more pragmatic in his action. I'm try no, ensure, no. sir. No, no, no. He was one. We come off a place and go about the business. So he can go to the business. So me see. So, but at least he might, he might be pragmatic. No, I, it was the right approach. Wherein the rental the car company was taking forever to get back to us, and he just wanted to say, "We just want to tow the vehicle and come off here because it's unhealthy to be there. Frankly, it's a unhealthy spot to be in. I might make a wrong turn and traffic change and yeah, happen. man." Why, why, why this? You know, I don't know if this is coming from. I don't know where this is coming from, but a lot of people asking about all oh, them not see mannings, all oh, them not see mannings. You know, hey. wait. He's not a player. No, he's, he's not a player. No, he was there. He's 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 the one coordinating things for the team. So he was there. No, me no know. Me here today, like said, them see mannings never a part of the team and. Whatever, yeah, one well, comment in the people, comment section. People, 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 stop spread rumor. But, hey, cranky, I had to show them a photo of Mannings with him, with him, with him medal. No, he is. I, I've been there, trust me, he's part of the team. We did it. We not we not bring the wrong information to them, man. We see Mannings in our building, man. I think one of the guys who the group that we're in took some bunch of picture of him on the field, frankly. Like three or four pictures of him on the field walking, talking to Blake and some other players when the game, the Panama game was over. So now he's there. He's, there. he's out. Mm. Now he's the one to go to the stadium and coordinate all the things they need to do. So sometimes he's not at training field. He's at the stadium making sure things are coordinated. Because remember, people, there's a lot of logistics now. I don't know you're about to know. Mm -hmm. what yeah, I true, you know. Things you don't even think about, there's so much logistics. It's ridiculous. True. Hey, the, managing, the, the, the management job. Hard people, it, yeah. it, it, it's a it's a lot of work, and Lord. we have a kudos to Mannings if it, if it, if it take up the task and and do what um they did. 
The equipment so manager. Talking to the plane, the co, everybody, everybody, everybody. The equipment person to crank it. We have to mention yes. that person there. What was his name per- again? Um, Stone? Name Stone? Stone. Yeah, At, yeah, yeah. No, Stone, yeah. Yeah, man, Stone, man. We have to big up that brother there. A brother that works very hard too in yeah. terms of ensuring that everything is up to par for the players them. Yep. You understand? So we have a big up Sir Stone. The Masur them. Um everybody. But sometimes these people don't really get highlighted. Yeah. So we have to talk about these players, these persons who are integral to the whole aspect of the team. And they have a quite a bit of people there, you know, who are part of the team, which is you have the masseuse there, you have psychologists who, you know, have discussion with players, you have equipment managers, you have the data analysts, you have Simon there as media, people who are taking videos and pictures. There's a lot of support staff who all have a role that supports the team. And I think it's getting mm-hmm. better and better over time. As the, and I'm sure they'll add, as they get more resources, they'll add more of those people. Because mm-hmm. if you think about a football team, what it does, it's very complicated nowadays. There's a lot of things to it. And everybody have their roles. They have more than one masseuse, by the way. Mm-hmm. They have like two or three of them, actually. Because players have to get, they have to have recovery, which is a big deal. You think about playing 120 minutes against the US, you know how much recovery that entails to mm-hmm. allow you to play three, four Plus days later? The system. Yeah, what do you, especially when you're playing 80%, 70% of your game is defending. Mm-hmm. And the players, you can see, were recovered to play against. Because um, we only made two changes from the team to play against Panama. So a lot goes into that, actually. Can you tell them, say no? They might ask, oh, 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 where is your medal and my medal? But tell them, say, we can't show them full medal. Because if we show them full medal, they might say we work for JFF. So that will no, 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 no. We can't get our medal because we only have 127 likes and it's 20 people in the chat. That's our medal. Hit the like button. Yeah, and man. And it's free. Yeah, give me medal free. <laughs> free medal. Yeah, give it. Yeah, man. A long time, Stone. I, I deal with the thing, man. Him, uh, him, him tell with him story. 18 years. It's a long time. Yeah, man. A long time I do it, and he ma move from team to team, and he was in our from 98. 98, you say? So 25 yeah, years. From January, from January 90th, yeah, him, sir. 18 years, it is, it is 20 something years, yeah. He goes, he does junior team, senior team, he does a lot of yeah. Things. So, you have to, you have to, you have to, and he might take care of every single thing from the cone to the ball shoes, gear, every aspect of the, of the, of the, of the team. You understand? And him say, him have to, um, big up the players, then, because the players, them show him a lot of respect. Um, and he does yes, likewise. He does, he does so that, that that not because you know sometimes people might see that as a as a as a low job, but the players them show him respect them, not look down on him. You understand? Yeah, because Bibi and Bibi and Freddie were there also, so they're part of the coaching staff now. So it's yeah. it's, it's a good it's a good look actually. And Freddie Freddie's not a coach, they're on the same team. So he's part yeah. of the strategic the strategic arm um, of the team with John Wall and Hal Grimson and him and goalkeeper coach. And Bibi, they are part of that whole collective who are strategizing about how to, what system to play, how to deploy the team going forward. So that's a good thing, I think. Yeah. Um, we're going to have um, Freddie upon the show soon, you know. We're going to talk to him about that. The interview we're seeing with me and him and Bibi is just a precursor to um, follow up on, on, on well, to, just to kick off things okay. before that other interview. And people, okay. by the way, people, for those who don't say, why cranking up and playing ball, Freddie did acknowledge that he and I played on the same team. That's all. Even though me not, me not tell you no way Freddie said no people. Freddie did acknowledge that he and I played on the same team, okay? Me not go tell you no way yeah. Freddie said no way Cranky. To, 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 to go elaborate about what he said. He said we played on the same team. And he people. pointed some teams, some good teams who we beat. <laughs> and that's part of the team. That's all I can say. <laughs> people are not going to tell you what Freddie said. But me just <laughs> not go tell you no yet. Yes, when Freddy come on, me I go, me I go make Freddy tell you no one go on. <laughs> <laughs> me I go make Freddy tell you no one go on with Cranky here. Yeah? Me not tell you no. Me uh, I go make him tell you no. Again, Freddy have a ball, sir. So. Good thing, good thing, good thing, good thing. But no, it was good though. It's good. 
Freddy no, we're not nah telling you yet, Nuclear. Nah. Freddy, I got to talk about the things. Eh. When Freddy fall, we make him tell you what God. All right, people, reach two hours and I show you now. I soon left to soon 12 o'clock, you know. See? And and any, any closing um, words, Frankie? Well, I want to say a couple of things. One is thanks everyone for joining us. I know it's a late decision we made because we just came. See, people, we came in. We want to give you some information. Um, um, I said, Minzy, let's just do something. And it was impromptu, basically. So it wasn't something we planned to do because um, Minzy had did something at the airport. So it was good. And it's good that you guys decided to join. You know, you could be doing something else. So we appreciate you being here. Before you leave, please hit the like button. Um, don't be stingy with it. And it's always good to talk about football because I, I must admit, even though... I don't know how I love flying. And today, no help me none. Hey, Benzie, when anybody play me, I said to myself, nah, I'll do this again, yeah, man. I'll nah, do this again. So just, nah, this. <laughs> when the plane drop, I said, nah, I'll do this again. So I can't do this no more. I'm tired of this. I fly too much in my life. I'm still not, I still can't get to the point I enjoy. That's not a good thing. But I don't know how to do it again. So I might as well stop seven and do it. Because, you know, we think about me, Benzie. Mm. I said, boy. And then I laugh, I said, if I drive from Dallas, uh, 20 something hours that you know. May I still mm-hmm. have drive? You say, you know, a good thing. The fight, they look a three hour flight. Just bite your tongue and just deal with it and go on. So, anyway, people, it was good um, going to Texas. I, I'd never been to Dallas before. I've been to Texas, mainly Houston, not Dallas. My first trip in that state. Yeah. We had some interesting experiences, which helps you in your development and you grow to the person because we're always learning no matter how seasoned you are. Um, it was good ha- hanging out with the team. I think that the team, the camaraderie in the team is second to none. Um, the mm-hmm. players are great to be around, to engage with. They seem to be enjoying each other's company. Management and the team seem to be in a good place, no matter what you hear from the outside. When I see them engaging, when I see them around each other, because, you know, Fred, I saw Freddie taking a picture with, I won't say who else take the picture, but I'm going to say Freddie and Bibi and, and Rick Kitts. And Chum was taking picture. Somebody else was there taking picture. But I, I'm not gonna say who with them. That picture would never be shown um, in public domain, um, at least no time soon. Um, but they were all getting along really, really well, actually, which is which is really, really good. And we need more of that. We have too much negativity that comes out of the public domain. That has to change, right? It can continue. So my hope is that my last point is this, that the JFF the players can come together, resolve their differences, and go to another foot. And I did say to some of the JFF administration, I said, you know what? When you write your clause and your contracts with the players, it has to be so draconian if they go to the public domain and say negative things that it penalizes them really hard. At the same time, the contract also has to put the JFF in a difficult If you don't pay, something has to give, right? Because I don't care how much money you have. If you owe me, pay me. And if I expect to have certain things done, which you promise they don't, they're, not, they're not done, then that's not good, right? And I, and I also think about this, because I was thinking about this when I was coming back, saying, if you're good at something, really, really good, you're going to be entitled. I'm sorry, but you're going to be. So if you're Mike Tyson in boxing way back when, or you're Davis now is there, or if you're Messi, even though we hear Messi flies economy, even though he's a $50 million private jet, um, or if you are, um, if you are Shelly Ann or you're Elaine, you're going to be entitled because you have done enough to be entitled. The question is, how does that entitlement get satisfied? Because in any discipline, people, I'm telling you, in the corporate environment, the people who are excellent, they're entitled and they get treated differently. That's fact. But at the same time, it can be where you want to be an exception and you're creating difficult situations, right? So for the JFF, for the players, for example, they got to travel where they're comfortable, right? They got, I told you all that I saw this today was flying first class or first class business class. They got to be comfortable. But the players also don't have the authority to me to go in the public domain and bash the organization. That's not acceptable. So the JFF and the media players halfway, be on the same page, operate as one team instead of operating as mavericks, right? Players don't have the authority to go bash the JFF public. I don't care what they do. You don't have the authority. And JFF, you got to treat the players that they're the product, the game doesn't work without them, and make sure they're taken care of. And if you can get that cohesion done, that camaraderie done, that engagement done, they work as a team, 
then maybe we can be in a better place. But right now, even though the team is doing well, and you hear from the girls' team have done well, and now in this situation, it can be okay. You know, I think some of it is more history than current for the boys' team. But him still, they weren't being paid. And now, JFF, you're getting some money. You got money from Gold Cup. You got money from Nations League. You can get good money from Copa, Copa America. Pay off your debt, all your debt, including the players' wages. And get to a point where you have a cushion to help you going forward. And don't take up everything that you know you can't satisfy. You can't go to every tournament. You can't go to every junior tournament. Shouldn't matter nowadays because you have your quota system, so you shouldn't be challenged here. But anyway, I know we go the whole night without saying quota. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully, 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 coach will be in a better place. And again, yeah, people, man. appreciate you being here. All right, big up, Cranky. So, people, a, quite a few things before we jump off. Dexter Lembekisa picture surface or photo surface where he was getting baptized. Big up to Dexter on, on that um, um, great occasion for him. You understand? Um, one thing I've heard about uh, Al Grimson from interacting with other persons is that he's a great human being. He's a real professional um, person. He also is very organized. So those are some of the things that I heard about Al Grimson being around um, the team. So if if that if those things remain constant, then you know we are going forward to be a very very good um, unit in the near future. So big up again, um, big up to everybody who continues to support the team. And I just want to clear clear this up. I don't work for JFF. I mean, I don't know about Cranky. Me no work for JFF. You understand? I work for Coach's Desk, CEO and manager. You understand? So big up on yourself, people. Thanks again for before tuning you, in. Before, oh. you, before you go, people, before you go. I did talk to the president of the Grenada Football Association. He made an interesting comment to me. He said he wants local Grenadians to be in his team. And he's not going to replace those players with players from the National League in England. But if they are Premier League players, he might take all of them. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was interesting. By the way, he played in the Brooklyn League when I used to help run that league. So it's good. I, I, I don't remember him totally. I remember the face. But he was much younger then. But yeah. But he's he was there actually. You and I talked about his coach in Dallas trying to get the Dallas team to do exchange with them and help his team and help his coaching staff. So Jeff also need to have some of those relationships to get some coaches from good organization in Jamaica to help with the coaching there. So I help train some, develop some of the coaches. Yeah, man. It, it was a great trip, man. Very great trip. Um, You know, so big up again, people. Thanks very much for tuning in. Stay safe. Until next time we meet. As, uh, as always, peace out. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy. Best round here. Remember that.